Hello and welcome to another vlog. It's April 8th, 2024. It is 6.35 p.m. on an eclipsing t Monday. I know what day it is. Um, we are out of the Disney vlog. We are into the birthday vlog. I will cook something next week, but this week we're going to eat at dessert more than I should. Birthday meal time. Um, there are time codes in the vlog. You can look for their gaps in the red timeline or look for open the description. Look for the big list of blue numbers. Click it. Watch whatever you want in whatever order you want. You don't got to see the whole thing. Just do what you want to do. Um, so this is kind of the vlog on the, the diary entry for my birthday. Turning the big 45. What the? Bridget. Uh, so, uh, we're going to go to a birthday dinner. We're going to make a cocktail. Um, we've got, uh, a whole bunch. Well, I'll get to that in a second. Um, we got the whole WrestleMania and stand and deliver our predictions followed by our reactions. That should be a good time. Um, we've got a slew of hopeful unboxings. I'm probably doing vinyl. We may open up this, uh, Mickey Mini Runaway Railroad truck, I mean train, and I'll show you what, some of the things I got for my birthday. Maybe some Disney pins, things like that. I might even throw in some Lorcana or Star Wars Unlimited cards. I don't know. I filmed a bunch of stuff I may never release. Uh, <laughs> we got a bunch of movies to review. Mary and I need to talk to you about our thoughts on Ghostbusters, uh, Frozen Empire, um, Godzilla and Kong, A New Empire, so many empires. And then I, of course, saw Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2. And then I had a triple feature day of Late Night with the Devil and Immaculate and The First Omen. So I'll talk about all of those. Make a, a nice little cocktail. And uh, yeah, hopefully this won't be too long because I got to edit this whole thing today. I also need to film a very certain special something. No medical update, no change. Uh, it won't, I did, the only change there is I, they did move my appointment to after my May trip, so I'm all good. I think we already mentioned that. All right, well, let's get to it, shall we? Let's vlog. All right, so we have been gifted a very special birthday shot. That's a shot. <laughs> um, here, I'm gonna let Mary do the camera. And uh, So our, our great friend Otter, uh, amazing chef of the greatness, created this. It's like vodka and frangelico with a sugared lemon. Somehow, this is supposed to taste like chocolate cake when you do it. But I'm not gonna do the whole thing just yet. First, I wanna, I wanna just try the vodka frangelico because that sounds delightful. I could drink just that, and I'm already seeing how this is going to taste like chocolate cake. Oh, that's really good. All right. So he says to, I don't know. I'm, I'm shoot not gonna, the shot. I'm not going to shoot the whole. I'm going to do like half the shot so I can maybe get two out of this. Well. That's really good. But I don't know that I'm getting. I don't know if I'm getting chocolate cake out of it, but the the liqueur tastes closer to chocolate cake. Hold on, Dad. One second. So maybe you need to do it while you still have stuff in your mouth. Mmm. 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 How? No, seriously. So keep a little in your mouth and then suck it. Let's show his reaction because like. Well, I'm gonna do it. First. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's just good mm. on its own. That is very good. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. How does that taste like chocolate cake? Chemistry. Chemistry is wild, y'all. Yes, we win. Yeah, I think he agrees. Let me, um... Oh, yeah. That's really good. Yeah. All right, let's see what Mary thinks. <laughs> right. My beautiful, beautiful wife. By the way, I pulled my first enchanted Lorcana on the way over. Car luck is real. Yeah, that is actually, but it does taste pretty chocolatey on its own. But it's just really good on its own. But wait till you but, do the full thing. Yeah, wait till you get the lemon in there. It is like chocolate cake. I'm not sure I got enough lemon. That's a hard thing to bite into. <laughs> well, I wasn't really biting that hard into mine, but that's a really I shit, I just keep drinking this. Yeah, bring me more. Put that on the menu. I'm not sure I get it. Really? Oh, a little bit on the back end. I did. Here, here's the man of the hour, yes. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Is it good? I yeah. love it. Yeah. And, and again, my mind is blown. Like, how is that? How does that I don't taste know. like chocolate it, this cake? This is my favorite shot. I mean, the, that I can't drink anymore. Yeah. Um, and congrats still on that, by the way. 
but um, yeah, just the, the the liquor itself is delicious on its own. Uh, mm -hmm. And then, but yeah, I do not understand the science of it, but that is awesome, yeah. and I appreciate it, and I'm yeah. going to enjoy the hell out of that. Yeah. It's put this something down. you could do with the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, this actually. Is just I don't it's have just one part though. Frangelico, one part vodka, and a lemon. And a sugared lemon. And you chill it. Chill it over ice and strain it. Okay. It works the best. Oh, I'm going to do that. As a matter of fact, maybe we'll put that in the vlog next time and just say, you know. Because <laughs> yeah. I always do the... Of course, I'll proper credit where credit is due. But um, thank you. I'm going to put the phone down. <laughs> Here's Mary's veggie tempura. It looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. She might need help. I don't know. I'm curious. Is that like an avocado crema, I think, maybe? Uh, but more importantly, while she looks, oh, 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 oh. it's Green Goddess. That oh, Green Goddess. I've, I've heard of it, but I've never really known. Dill, Watch this face happen. Oh, yeah. God, that shot. I can't get over that shot. Dad's going to go buy himself some vodka and Frangelico. He's supposed to get me a bottle, too. <laughs> That's the face I'm about to make. <laughs> I imagine I'm filming it okay. My favorite pasta and my favorite. Get some cold soup. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and show you this too. We'll get to this. But let me, thank you. Uh, your favorite pasta and your favorite noodle? Favorite pre preparation. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, technically, it's your fa second favorite pasta noodle. But it's, no, broccatini. No, that's not exactly what you had in Rome. Though, oh, yeah, is it? it is. It's the uh, hollow noodles. He's right. It is. Um, so, I also got this, which I will film myself trying in a minute. I don't like blackberry. I don't like buttermilk. I don't mind a cold soup. But this is from Otter, and when Otter gets weird, things get wild. So I have to try it. I probably should have seen if they get extra spoons. Uh, it is the chilled blackberry buttermilk soup. So we're going to try that after I enjoy my pasta. It's not going to get cold. Um, maybe we'll ask for another spoon in case Dad wants to no. chance a taste. No, I do not no? want to chance. Okay. No. All right, I, oh yeah, let's, let's, uh, yeah. And then Mary brought me a hard case for my enchanted card so I could show it off. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, can I try to buy a bear's, because yours has always come out too salty. Yeah, no, I'm not, I have not, the not that great fair, I have not made it well. Uh, make sure you get a little pepper, a little nut noodle. I mean, a little noodle. Make sure you get some noodle. A little bit more pepper, but it's awesome the way it is. Where's Lenny when we need him? Dodging my birthday. I mean, it's a simple dish, but it's so good. I mean, it's probably too subtle for you. It's not going to really be your jam. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. I love it. Obviously, we love it. But that's more her dish. Yeah. We're all happy here. All right, I'll show you when I eat the soup, but I need—I want to go eat. Ooh, wait, wait, let me get out of the way in case you vomit. <laughs> We're going to try the soup. It's, listen, even if I don't like it, it ain't going to be like that. But uh, Oh, so show them that, by the way. The bread's okay. Usually the bread's better, but this is a whipped ricotta and what? Olive oil and butter? Herbs or something. No. It's no butter. Yeah. No. It's olive oil, and ricotta, herbs. and herbs. Mr. Listen's very good. All right, Arabiatas are ordered, but we gotta try this soup. Again, I am not a fan of buttermilk, like unless you're using it to cook. I'm not a fan of blackberry just in general, but more so the berry, not so much the flavor. I have no idea what to make of this, but Otter is very genius creation, so we gotta try this puppy. Oh my god. That is awesome. It's like a it's like a melted blackberry ice cream. <laughs> you know, like when your ice cream gets really melty? That's what it is. It's like a blackberry ice cream. That's actually really good. Yeah. Yeah. I do not regret that in one bit. <laughs> I might regret eating it all because I'm having so much pasta and a dessert and beverages. But, yeah. Who knew? Did you want to try it? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, it's actually really good. I kind of wish I did have an extra spoon for Dad because you would be very surprised. You would be very surprised. Well, I'm sure I would be. Oh, I don't know why I'm not looking at you. Oh, my God, Mary, your hand is so huge. Look at how big her hands are. <laughs> 
I'm gonna take it back off of. It's not bad. But you see, am I kind of right? It's kind of like a, a, a berry melted ice cream. A little bit, but I also, for me, I can taste the cucumber. Oh, I don't really. I, that is weird because I didn't really get a lot of the cucumber out of there. What do you taste? Uh, excellent. Kashiwa Pepe, that's what yes. you taste. Yeah, you missed our buddy Popcorn came out. We talked wrestling, too. He's one of the other great chefs here. All the chefs are great here, but you kind of have your core three that's owner and creator, Jeremy Ashby. You got Otter. You got Popcorn. Those are the, like, main three. But even the others that have been up and coming, they're great, too. Again, you ever come to Lexington, you got a few extra bucks because it, it, it's a little, you know, it's on the slightly pricier end, but it's well worth it. Obviously, I recommend the hell out of this place. It's like, no, I'm not going to, no, never mind. It's family. All right, I'm going to eat. All right, I had to take that soup away so I didn't finish the whole thing. There was like two spoons left. <laughs> Look at this. I'm so glad I did. I hope I can eat all this. I can eat all this. I'm going to regret it. Oh, yeah. But I can eat all this. Mary, oh. on the other hand, definitely taking half of that home. Oh, yeah. I would take half of that home if that's what I ordered, but it looks incredible. Unfortunately, that's not what you ordered. <laughs> <laughs> this looks so good. There's the face. Mmm. 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 Yep. Mm. Yep. <sighs> Mary's looking at t-shirts. I gotta think for us on the t-shirts. It's right up there with the Cacio Pepe. It's right up there with the Cacio Pepe? Yeah. I hope it's even better than the Cacio Pepe. Because the Cacio Pepe was good, but this is Arabi Adams, son. I don't know. Those are my two favorites. Along with uh, Carbonara. Particularly Carbonara popcorn. popcorn. Third, I was yeah. going to say, that's the top three. That's yeah. our top three favorite preparations. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a nice little bit of heat in there. Oh, that's very... Is on the menu. Oh, sliced it. Yeah, well, unfortunately, we're hearing they might have to take it off because it takes too long. All three of these, all two of these dishes. She's going for the chicken. I thought she'd go for the gnocchi. Oh, yeah, I was going to try yours. Oh, you want to try this? I don't want to try the chicken. I want to try one of your gnocchi. So after you have your bite, I'll try one if you don't mind. God, that Arabiata is so good, though. Have you tried it? Yeah, yeah, I have. This might be hot. That's fine. I got the lava now. Bro. Oh. Light, fluffy pillow, delicious. That is fantastic, too. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go enjoy this. Oh, I'm going to ram on you? Okay, hold on. Let me adjust. I'm, I got some red wine coming. Okay. We got about 10 minutes till we need to get out of here. The latest. We're good. I finished my dinner. Mary's got hers to go. I almost turned the card around, a camera around. I thought, I don't need to film Dad's credit card number. So I'll just do this. We have our to-go dessert. And then I got this espresso... Espresso martini that is made with a coffee-flavored reposado tequila. Apparently, coffee-flavored tequilas are a new thing. I had this the other week out of curiosity. I thought it was incredible. Well, at least very, very good. But I want to see what Mary thinks. I like the uh, coffee beans. Oh, yeah, the little coffee beans. Yeah. And there's three of them, too. It's three beans. You can't have one. You didn't order. Right? But I think that is so tasty. So I gotta look into it. If anybody got recommendations out there for brands or whatever, tell me. I gotta find out what they've got. Okay. So we're gonna drink this real quick and then we're gonna get home for a Russell Mana. And I'll open up some more cards, but I highly doubt I'll get more enchanted. I did buy a box of Floodborne and I got lucky with that as well. There's a whole story there too, but so we decided to come out for dinner. We're 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 <laughs> We're getting the same pastas again. <laughs> That's how good it is. We're back for more uh, Cachoe Pepe and more Arabia. <laughs> That's what I was doing. Sadly, they ran out of Bucatini. They were so busy yesterday, so it's penne for both pastas. But you know what? That's fine. This looks really good. Looks like it's got more pepper on it, which is good. More pepperoni. No, not pepperoni. Pepper. <laughs> it's just going to make up a word. And I'm like, you can't make up a word that already exists. 
I'm sure it's still very much deliciousness. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing that face I saw yesterday. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> I mean, you know, it smells good. It looks good. I'm sure it's pretty good. It's just penne. The penne was pretty good in the cachoe pepe. It wasn't as good as yesterday, but sometimes that happens. We will see how this goes. It does look a little more watery than yesterday, but that might just be my imagination as well. Okay, I'm gonna eat. Well, it's Monday, we're here again. I'm gonna throw this in here. We were just coming for burgers, but there's an appetizer. We had to have it. Fried mozzarella and aerobiata sauce. That's gonna be so good. Look at that, look at that torn basil on there. I'm literally salivating, thinking about it. I got a mango pineapple martini coming. Oh yeah. Well, I was a good boy. There's some tempura veggies. I've already eaten some, I'm sorry. The Philly steak burger. That's a cheese sauce with onions and peppers on there. Yeah. I'm probably gonna get rid of the lettuce. It doesn't need to be on, it. on that burger. It would fit. We got some more of the Hari Kari sauce. It's amazing. This is a new one. Holy moly. And oh my god, it is hot. The pineapple uh, mango martini is excellent. <laughs> Three days in a row, buddy. <laughs> Third day. Yeah, that's right. Still celebrate. This is dangerous stuff right there. That's Otter's holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are. It's supposed to be toast, I think. But other than that, that is the what the fuck, and it looks so good. I'm really excited about this. The veggies are very, very good. Tempura fried veggies. I was trying to be a little healthy. Guess what we get to do? What? We get to eat junk food. Ooh. Taste test time. I guess you have actually done some of these taste tests. Uh, yeah. But you haven't. You only did, you only ate junk during the taste tests. Right. Um, but today we got we've been piling a bunch of stuff up. Today we got uh, two savory and three sweet to try, and we got a whole bunch of other stuff. But we just want to get snacking. Uh, which one of these would you like to do first? I know this one's probably not really going to be your jam. Uh, probably we should go with the cheaper one first. Okay. So I found these today. We got Doritos. I thought late night. I thought it was just taco, but I looked a little closer, and this is sizzling cheeseburger. Ooh! Show them what they can win, man. <laughs> you want me to open? I can, I can open chips, especially this one. This one's like nice and poofy. Hello, cameraman Jack. <laughs> oh, I haven't done this in a while. Oh, they do smell kind of cheeseburgery. Kind of ketchup mustardy. Yeah, I'll give you like the ketchup mustard. Maybe a little mayo? Yeah, maybe. Let's give it a go. I got a feeling this would be a subtle flavor. Mm. How the fuck does that taste like a cheeseburger? Because it does. Like fast food late night cheeseburger. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Those are very good. How? Go ahead. Because it's been a minute for me. Mm. Do you think they're similar to the, the Ruffles uh, Canadian All Dressed? No, I think it's very different because it definitely has like that meaty flavor but also like a dressed cheeseburger. I mean, you know, but but I'm definitely getting the cheeseburger, not just like the all dressed stuff. I'm not oh, sure if I'm getting any meaty, meaniness, but it is good. Well, it has that like, like McDonald's, like the double cheeseburger, like the basic, not the quarter pounders or whatever, or even a little white castle-y. Oh, <laughs> how long is it? Mm. Mm. Yeah, wait, those are dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, they will, but that's even worse. <laughs> oh, oh those, are, those are... I will get those again. I wouldn't say they're the best Dorito I've ever had, but they are top-tier Doritos. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to let you try the next one on your own. See how spicy it is, yeah. It's probably more of a flavor than the heat. I hope. Mm. <laughs> Jack, honey, I don't think the pony wants to play. These are new. Buff, I found these at Target. Crunchy Cheetos, buffalo flavored, which I have become a big fan of buffalo flavor. Ooh, mm. oh, they smell pretty good. I mean, to me, but I like. I'm not getting much, to be honest. Mmm. 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 
So imagine if they have heat, it's probably on the back end. I'm waiting to see, yeah. I definitely think this is within your within your heat tolerance. I don't think it'll quite go to the edge of it, but it does build a little in the back, but it's not crazy. I know it's April Fools, but we're filming on April Fools, but I'm not gonna do that to her. That'd be that's a cruel joke. My joke was more like telling my dad that I don't be mad that I went ahead and booked a June Disney trip. Which he fell for it for a second. Wind. Damn ghost. Okay. okay. Yeah, this one has a little hint of heat on the back end. Um, uh, but yeah, no, these aren't going to be all yours. I, I, I don't, I'm not even here. Thank you. <laughs> They're okay. Um, I do get a little of the buffalo flavor and then some kind of slightly chemical heat. It's nowhere near as hot as like a flaming hot Cheeto, but obviously it's spicier than a regular Cheeto. They're okay. Uh, I think the uh, Dorito is definitely the winner between those two. You might have an alarm going off. Yep. Oh, it just started. Mm. Time for the kids to have them. Okay, well, just a moment, babies. We're almost there. That's not, they're not bad, but I'm not like, oh my God, I must have more of these, blah, 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 blah. So, okay. So you want to do those? You're, just, you're showing them. I guess, are we doing this next? No, I'm sorry, I got, I got some distracted by something I saw on the back of that. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> well, which one of these, uh, th where do you think we should start? I'm gonna do something with this, hold on. Um, I think we should go with the blue thing because I have been, that okay. might be the most subtle flavor of a lot. Sure. I believe I found these at Target if you wanna show them off, my dear. This is definitely more of a Mary thing than the Eric thing. Got it. But blue I'll still try. Raspberry acid flavored. Blue raspberry icy. Blue raspberry. Both of us are a, a fan of the blue icy. Yeah, we love blue raspberry ices. So it'd be weird with the marshmallow, but I'm excited to try it out. Where is the scene on this bag? She's gonna make me a fan of peeps at some point. <laughs> Because again, those Rice Krispies ones are pretty good, but you can finally eat. Maybe they're your perfect staleness now. Oh, that'd be nice. Oh, wait, is this a tear tag here? Oh, no. Is it? No, it's just a weird clear spot. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I kind of miss, it kind of makes me want to have the blue raspberry icy. Where would you even get an icy anymore? I know a lot of places have versions. I know they have versions, right? Like slushies and all that. Maybe they're at least used to. I know, but I don't think they do anymore because it's like all Pepsi stuff now at Regal. I'm not sure if Icy is a Coke product, per se. I know, but they used to have like frozen Cokes, and now they don't. Um, I don't know. Uh, we used to be able to get them at Target. That's probably, yeah. Yeah, Target. Wait, not anymore. Because that was like when Target would have, well, at least not our Target, like it would have like a snack area, uh, right? We don't have that anymore. It's just all Starbucks. Is it? You don't get a camera with oh, your confusion. Sorry. Is it? I don't know. Do you, you want your own or? Uh, what do you want? Oh, do you want to just split one? I'm to happy to with? split one, yeah. Okay. All right, which one do you want? Uh, the lady's choice. Peeps are your jam, so you want to show yeah. it? I mean, they can see it, but. It's, it's even blue on the inside, which Ooh. I'm kind of surprised by. Because <laughs> I don't know how often they're colored on the inside. But. Yeah. Reminds me of cotton candy. <laughs> That's all right, go ahead. Oh. Go ahead. Immediately, it has that kind of blue cotton candy smell. It does have that taste, but again, like I, I predicted, it's kind of subtle. Hmm. It's definitely in the sugar. Yeah. Um. It kind of tastes like a blue raspberry icy, but now I'm trying to think of. Yeah, I guess it does kind of taste like a blue raspberry icy with a little bit of vanilla from the marshmallow. Not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, I don't love it, but again, I'm not huge on Peeps. I would probably prefer the Rice Krispies ones myself. Yeah. But those are still pretty good. These are very fresh. I, I like mine a little stale. I, I like them to have a little ch extra chew to them. Fair. We do have another Peeps thing we'll probably do in the next uh, taste test. Uh, and it might be a little more my flavor profile, but those uh, are pretty good. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and we just want to do these and, well, they might still be available if you want to yeah. check out your Target or whatever. <clears throat> yeah, because they aren't Easter themed or anything, so they might be new. 
Well, peeps usually only come out around oh, holidays. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a, I, as I said after I said that, I was. We, we do not have year-round peeps. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I got peeps year-round. What's up, peeps? Mm -hmm. All right, where are we going next? Corn. <clears throat> This, by the time you see this video, will likely not be available anymore. Uh, but Regal is stepping up their game to try and compete with Cinemark. Mm -hmm. Not just in their popcorn buckets, now they're selling t-shirts and other things. Is it Cinemark or AMC? Cinemark was the, AMC's been pretty good too, but oh, you know, you're right. AMC was the big dog. Cinemark's coming up in terms yeah. of popcorn buckets and all that. Um, but um, they also are now doing flavored popcorn. So we got the Ghostbusters which is appropriate for this video because this video has like a Ghostbusters review and all that. This oh. is the birthday vlog. Um, so it is a green apple and caramel. So it's like, you know, caramel apple. Why does it say apple on there? Because I just see green caramel popcorn. Oh, it does popcorn. just say re green caramel popcorn. I think somebody, I think at the theater it said something about green apple and caramel. Or if they told me that's what it was. Or was it just caramel? I think it may just be green caramel. Well, that's really disappointing. Well, we'll open up the bag and find out. Yeah, I guess so. Um, now one thing I will say. Uh, okay, so. I'll let you do it then. Regal is also a... Uh, uh, this tie. Oh, I was looking. I was about to pull the whole bowl off. Uh, what, Regal is doing the thing, though, that AMC does that uh, really sucks, which is they are selling their specialty things like two weeks before the movies open, which I think is dumb. Don't sell these things until the movie opens, because then you get all the people going to the movie, and now, it would be hyped. The popcorn hyped buckets and... weren't available online until... Well, not online, but they had been selling them in the theater already oh, for two yeah, weeks. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. You know, so they sold that. That's fine. I didn't need one, but... Very, very green. Oh. All right, you ready? Sink it and sink it. We're gonna take it. There we go. Ooh, it smells like caramel. Mm. Yeah, I think it's just their standard caramel corn. Now they just recently started selling caramel corn. Just regular caramel corn. Maybe. I almost feel like I did get something, but maybe it's mental. Yeah, if I'd known it was just caramel corn, I wouldn't have been as hyped about, ooh, taste test, it's caramel corn. I don't know what it tastes like. To be awesome, or honest, I mean, I've had better, better caramel corn. Yeah, but that's still pretty good. All right, that goes upstairs to you. <laughs> I gotta stop taking snacks upstairs. This is how I eat them late at night. This is how I don't end up eating them. Well, I mean, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> I have to try their fresh caramel corn at some point. But that was disappointing. I thought somehow they had done like a, a green apple flavoring with the caramel. And I thought that sound, that was what sounded cool and unique. Now this one is kind of a, we have to do kind of a twofold. Okay. So we got Pop-Tarts Boston Cream Donut. Now what I'm a little confused on here is that it says cream, but that sure as hell looks like custard to me. Well, custard is what's in the Boston Cream Donut. They say cream, but it's, it's always a custard. See, that's confusing. I, I didn't make the it's rules. It's not cream then if it's custard. I didn't make the rules. Um, I saw a cup. I don't normally do Pop Tarts. I used to love them. I'm more of an unfrosted guy, typically. Um, <laughs> which is funny. There's a trailer reaction coming up. It's probably been out by now for the movie Unfrosted about the creation of Pop Tarts. Uh, there was a different one on the shelf that caught my eye that's new. Well, I'll try that next time. Um, but then I saw these and I was like, ooh, that sounds too good to try. Eric and I both like Boston custard. <laughs> Uh, Mary really likes cream pies. Um, we also like donut. <laughs> okay, do you want me to go ahead and throw one of these in? The uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, let's see. Let's see if there's. I was gonna say, yeah. Hold on, let me do this. I don't think you're supposed to have frosting all the way down to the bottom there. Ooh, this is crumbly on the bottom there. Nope, they're both that way. Yeah, so she's gonna throw that one in the toaster, but we're gonna try this one. I, I usually just give them a light toasting. I wouldn't go too hard. You don't want to melt the frosting off. All right. Okay. What, what number is it set at? Uh, currently it's on three, which is enough to warm up one of my English muffins. I would, yeah. A three is probably fine. Okay. All right, so while that doesn't sting. So we'll try this out. Obviously it can't be that creamy. Can't be that much cream in here. Because it's a Pop-Tart. There's not enough room to really make it super duper gooper. Yeah, because it, yeah, it, it looks so creamy on the box. Well, since I'm holding it, if you don't mind, I'll go ahead. And I'm gonna try to get okay. a big bite so I can get in there past the corner. Just break it in half. But let's do that. Hold, hold the either hold the thing or. Okay, I was gonna have you. Oh yeah, that's much smarter. And, and there was a little bit of a cream pull when yeah. we did that. Yeah. 
kind of smells right. Hmm. Well, that's not bad. The more I'm eating it, the more I like it. That would be really interesting warm. I think it's gonna be better warm. I'm not digging this. Well, I wouldn't say it's bad cold. I mean, I like it. This is... I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. Yeah. too many calories. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh... Not right now. I'll splurge one day when I've lost a little more weight. Um. Yeah, that's not hitting for me. At least not cold. Um. Like I said, it, I think it's decent, but you know, I'm not like, oh my god, I'm in love with it. But it will be interesting to see how it goes down warm here in just a second. I feel like we can probably pull that at any point at this point. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna grab a little plate, I guess, or something. I don't know. I don't know what you want to grab. Uh, I think that might be so easy. Yeah. And I'll learn how to work a box. There it went. The tart popped. Oh, oh yeah, don't. <laughs> Oh, the other one, well, uh, no, I'll save it as a surprise. Okay, so. Looks about the same. Yeah, you know, didn't, frost, Ooh. frosting stayed, uh. Mm, smells nice. It's just that, it's it's not that it smells like the donut as much as like, it's the smell of warm Pop-Tart. Or are you gonna say, I'm sorry, frosting? Uh, the frosting, I was afraid that the frosting might melt onto the, the, the toaster blades, but that did not seem to be a problem. Ooh. Yeah, I told you it's hot. Oh man, that's like really hot. Shit, and crumbly, yeah. There we go. <laughs> <Karate> chopped it. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you the less broken one here just because... Uh, well, we don't, really don't need the edge pieces that much anyway, so... Right. Yeah, we're just trying to get in and taste the... Whew. Oh, it's better warm, for sure. Mm. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah, it's much better warm. Yeah. That sucked cold. I would, okay, we, we were gonna disagree on how bad it was cold, but this is way better. That's actually pretty damn good. It's okay, I would not go out of my way to get one though. Well, I feel like if I'm gonna have, spend the calories on it, I'd rather have the real thing. Yeah, but this might be a little more convenient. It'll easier to keep around, a little more shelf stable, it won't die on you as soon. Yeah. Oh, actually, I probably wish I hadn't found out about these. Especially warm. That is really good. <laughs> mm. Mm. And this is it. It kills me. We're both trying to diet and he keeps going like, I got this thing to try. Well, I gotta know what flavors are out there and gotta know the interesting ideas so it helps with my food creations. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that is dangerously tasty. <laughs> I'm good. I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> I did have a light dinner, but... Mm. Shit, shit, that's good. I did not need to know about that. We both definitely recommend it. it's better warm. Absolutely, absolutely, by far. All right, well, that's this uh, taste yeah. test. Yeah, the brown sugar cinnamon one or brown sugar ones are good. okay cold. I saw a few they have that it looked pretty good too, but it's like, I don't need to get back into Pop-Tarts. This is Actually, that's probably the first Pop-Tart I've had in 15, 20 years. <laughs> I think I had one last year because I was desperate for something and it was the best looking thing in the vending Ugh. machine at the time. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think I've had one since I've known you. Not that I recall. So but, you just happened to have the brown sugar ones. Ah, yeah, they like, had like okay. a banana nut one that sounded kind of good and stuff. Well, I like banana nut bread and <laughs> some other things, you know. And then the classic unfrosted strawberry was always my go-to before, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, but yeah, right, okay. Sorry about the popcorn. But uh, pretty good otherwise. Doritos, check. Hot Boston Cream Donut Pop-Tarts, check. Blue Raspberry Peeps, if you're into those things, check. Popcorn, disappointment because I was mis misled. And uh, Buffalo Cheetos, meh, skip. I think Doritos are the best thing for me. Taste oh, we have all three of these? Yeah. Yeah. Itty, Itty bit. bit. That's right, you turn <laughs> right around. <laughs> Jumped on the table. All right. That's it. We're going to get out of here. We're going to do some more stuff. Oh my God, that was 17 minutes. I forget how long these can be. Mm -hmm. See ya. Okay. It's going to be a big day of wrestling tomorrow. So we're all caught up on all the regular shows. Just finished SmackDown. So we're going to, this section, we're going to run through our predictions quickly for Stand and Deliver NXT. We got the pre-show match. That's Joe Gacy and Sean Spears. We aren't around for Sean Spears originally. We don't know if we're supposed to give a shit about him, but I don't think we do. I don't. 
But Gacy's gotten fun. Yeah, Gacy's incredibly fun. He won't win, but that should be a really fun match. The sad thing is it means I got to get up earlier than I have than I would. Yeah, I think that's an apt <clears throat> uh, uh, assessment. Yeah. Uh, we have, oh my, yes. The Thea Hale, Kalani Jordan, and Fal Fallon Henley versus JC Jane, Kiana James, and Izzy Dame. Uh, the six-woman tag match. Let's go, Thea. Yeah, I want Thea to win, but I have a feeling the guys are going to... Yeah. Trickery. Yeah, some bullshittery. they all excel at trickery. That's true. That's true. And everybody on their team, other team is so nice that they'll fall for the niceties. Well, I think Henley may not. Mm, well, remember, she, she went did. to save the other girls, and that's how she got fucked over last yeah. time. So, maybe. Also, I'm going to throw out a wild card prediction that somehow um, J.C. Jane's kissing on uh, Thea's boyfriend to piss her off and distract him. Uh, maybe. I mean, I know he's not uh, really I the boyfriend, see... but I could see something like that. Yeah. Okay, uh, NXT Tag Team Champions, Braun Breaker and the Wolf Dogs. Just say the Wolf Dogs versus Axiom and Nathan Frazier. That is going to be a really fun match. Uh, the Wolf Dogs should win, but I'm afraid that with them promoting Braun Breaker on uh, – the with SmackDown, I SmackDown, think. I think, yeah. That they <clears throat> may use this as an opportunity to go ahead and break them up, which is a shame because they work so well. I'm going to say that may have been the original plan or they wanted to break them up originally, but I think they went over so well that they're rewriting it. So I think they're going to maintain it because Braun can still so. come over. So, I mean, I like <clears throat> Nathan and Axiom, but yeah. I want the Wolf Dogs to stay together. <clears throat> they are incredibly fun together, especially after coming off being really boring, not liking them. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, we got the NXT North American champion, Oba Femi versus Dijak versus Josh Briggs. I honestly don't really care. I think, I think <laughs> Oba's going to maintain, I think. Yeah, Oba's pretty interesting. Uh, Dijak is fine. Josh Briggs is whatever. Um, so I guess I am rooting for Oba to maintain. Let's just see where he's going to go with he's, it. He's, he's that, that, that un immovable object or whatever you want to call the it. The best NXT has right now of that, yeah. yeah. NXT Women's Championship, Lyra Valkyra, Roxanne Perez. Man, I really uh, don't care about this one. Yeah, I think Val I think Valkyrie will maintain. I'm not going to lie. To me, these two ladies are often interchangeable. You could show me one, and I wouldn't know which one is which. So, That's bad. Yeah. Um, I can tell the difference. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess a little bit. But I've just been so checked out of their story. So I'll just go with I want Valkyria to win, and hopefully that's the case. Yeah, because I don't like this whiny, bitchy Perez. I mean... That's a big turnoff for the enjoyment factor, yeah. Ooh, oh, come on. I accidentally clicked on something. Oh, yeah, okay. NXT champion Ilya Dragunov versus Tony D'Angelo. It's going to be a hell of a match. I'm rooting for Tony, I think. I, I'm, I'm rooting for Tony because I feel like there's more story opportunities going yeah. that way. Yeah, because I think that way they make him really even more the stronger Don. But I think then there'll be like this big respect thing at the end. And even Dragunov is like, you know what, Tony, you fought a really good match. You know, I give it to you. Congrats, sportsmanship. And then later we'll kind of get the story. It's like Tony's like, you know what, Dragunov, we could use a guy like you. You know, mm -hmm. like that becomes a thing and Dragunov becomes part of the family. I don't think Dragunov would want to be a made man. I know, but I mean, I think that would that could go that way. It'd be I mean, a interesting it'd be story. Interesting, but yeah. I don't think it will. I know, but that's what I, that's my random prediction. Uh, and then we have Trick Williams versus Carmelo Hell, Carmelo <laughs> Hayes. Whoop that trick! <laughs> Whoop, Whoop that, that trick! trick. Whoop. That, that, yeah, that pretty much sums that one up. <laughs> the sneaky little bastard, Carmelo. I mean, I and I mean, I'd say that in like kayfabe and story. You know, like I I appreciate uh, his villainy. Uh, but I need Trick to to get yeah. his, and then I need him to vic victory lap victory lap with Lash Lachey. Is that her name? Uh, Lash Legend. Something like that. Okay, you know who we're talking about with Noah Hello, hello, hello! Oh my God, they're hosting. I forgot they're hosting. Oh, God, yeah. That's gonna be fun when I'm half awake. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to rest my hand. We're going to load up the uh, WrestleMania. That's our thoughts and predictions on uh, my birthday day. Mm -hmm. uh, birthday weekend has been good so far. Uh, well, I guess we'll talk about that elsewhere. But okay. Mary said she guessed she's ready, so that means yes. Um, mm -hmm. I heard you yes so, not guess so. Yeah. All right, so, I th okay, so I, it's not completely clearly broken down how it's night one or night two. I think it is, and I think I have this. So we may be in order, we may not. We're just going to go ahead and talk night one, what I think is night one. And then night two, except for the end, because we can't really predict that without knowing something at night one. So uh, night one, I believe we'll start off then with Rey Mysterio and Andre, 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 Andrade, whatever his Andrade. name is. Andrade. Andrade versus Santos Escobar and Dominic Mysterio. 
I am leaning towards a long con on, on Andrade and medium long. <laughs> and there's a good possibility that he, it it was all just a a, a that plan on they took, Judgment Day's they, part. To, yeah, they took out uh, Dragon Lee, so Ray would need a partner, and they put him in so he can turn on Ray, and they can really whoop Ray. Yeah, that's what she's saying. Yeah, that, that, that's uh, what I feel. I think that'd be pretty awesome. I mean, I'd hate to see it, but that'd be pretty awesome. Um, I would like to see Ray uh, actually spank Dominic again. Did he actually oh, do yes. that? Yes, he did. Um, and then, um, you know, I'd like to see them win. I'm going to actually, just to play devil's advocate, I'm going to say they win. Moving on. We got a lot. Yeah. Unless you have anything else, like, no, super important. Uh, I'm good. Whew. Bianca Belair, Jade Cardigill, and uh, Naomi versus Damage Control. Uh, the new ladies got it. Jade Cardigill, right. they're, they're, they're putting her over right now. So yeah. they're going to give her something huge to do and win the thing. I, I hope so. Despite cheating attempts. Maybe Bailey will come out and stop some cheating attempts. Uh, that's a possibility. And maybe win over Bianca that way. I could see that. Yeah. You good on that one? Yeah. Jay versus Jimmy. Jay's Jay. lose. No, Jay's getting it. it. This is the year. I'm going to have egg on my face, I'm sure. But this is the year that the bloodline is going to get their spankings. Their comeuppance is finally due. That check is at the table. Their <laughs> balance, their statement balance is ready. <laughs> now I can see it where they, they pummel each other to the point where neither one of them are going to be any help. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be a big, big old match. Uh, okay, uh, Intercontinental Champions, Gunther versus Sammy. I think it might be time for Gunther to finally lose. No, it's it's in no the way. I mean, I'm not, I'm not. I'm just you know we're 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 debating our thoughts. I'm not saying she's wrong. She could be mm -hmm. right. She usually is. I'm gonna say no because I think they are setting up the Chad coaches Sammy thing, and they haven't done enough of that. So I think Gunther's gonna maintain because it just hasn't worked yet, and they haven't I... done that coaching thing enough yet. Well, I think it's, I have a feeling that that may have been an idea that came late in the game. Yeah, but I mean that's why that's why like they got to keep it going then if it's if it's paying off. I don't know. There's a part of me that wants like this to be like the the, the WrestleMania where just the good guys win. Well, yeah, I guess that's me all the time. All right, uh, undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship six pack tag ladder match. I e pure chaos. Finn Balor with Damian Priest, The Miz with R Truth. Hell yeah. Um, Johnny Gargano, Tomasa, of course, DIY, Kofi, or, or Regeneration X, uh, Kofi Kingston, Xavier Woods, New Day, Grayson Wallen, Austin Theory, Douchebags. I love them, though. Mm -hmm. um, Beat Dune and Tyler Bate, New Catch Republic. Dumb name, but I love that team. This is going to be bonkers. I feel like considering how many times Judgment Day has, has just come out of nowhere to beat down all these teams. Yeah. That the smart thing would be for all the teams to make a temporary truce to beat the hell out of Judgment Day. Yeah, but I mean, they could still snatch up there and get it at the last and, minute. Well, and the, one of the reasons why I'm not clear on how this is going to work is like, does one team have to gain control of both belts? Yeah, or are they split in belts? You were talking about that. Yeah, yeah there's be, some... Yeah, because yeah, if, if it's like one one team gets one belt, one team gets the other belt, maybe that finally splits the belt yeah. apart. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that has been clarified anyway, so that is a good place. I'm going to say if one team gets it... I mean, of course, I'd love it to be the Miz and our truth but I highly mm -hmm. doubt that. Okay, now say if they do split it... Okay, well, I'm going to say if one team gets it, I'm really pulling for uh, DIY with Gregano. Yeah. Um, if they if they do split it, it would be interesting if Gregano got it with uh, Tommaso and the Miz and our truth got the other one. So Regeneration X actually gets the titles, so it's still kind of in a crew. Yeah. That could be fun. I mean, Kofi and Xavier are due for love again. It allows though. Judgment Day to retain a title. For now. Yeah. All right, yeah, that one's a hard one to predict, but those are some of our thoughts. Um, we got women's world champion Rhea Ripley, Becky Lynch. I got to be honest, this should be a good match, I feel like but that's also Sunday. I, I, where do you see the Sunday card? It might be. You might be right, but um, this match, I love these ladies, but I'm not really that interested in this match. I feel like we've seen this and done this before. Um, yeah, I kind of feel like there have been more interesting. Yeah, or even some of the newer ladies would have been more interesting to put up against each other. But I'm going to say Rhea re maintains. E, possibly, yeah. I think they're going to keep it that way. I think Rhea's going to say something about what's, uh, Becky's daughter, and Becky just goes into berserk mode, and which works against her usually. Yeah, I could see that. And then we definitely have what is the end of night one, whether I've got the rest of this in order or not. Uh, the Rock, Roman Reigns versus Cody and Seth Rollins. 
And with the stakes being um, a clean championship match the next night, yeah, right, or a, uh, you know, or a no holds barred uh, champion, you know, a, a no rules kind of championship. I can see where having the, the no rules may be more exciting, but there's a part of me that wants to see the panic of, oh, fuck, we, we, ha we can't cheat. Yeah, I mean, I see that, but they would still cheat. So I don't think it would go that way. Plus, I think this way, The Rock gets a win. Roman gets to keep a win. So they get to actually have this first win and really beat the crap out of them to motivate and make stronger the next yeah. night. You know, when uh, and because then all the odds stacked against Cody. His Winning his story, winning the championship to finish his story against all the odds, way more interesting than just doing something we've seen before. Um, so I think that's where that's going. Yeah. I think it's supposed to be that and it's, it's going to be, but then you can actually have like everybody else come out and beat the hell out of Roman, like the whole damn yeah. locker room that's just tired of his shit. Or, you know, or we have my whole uh, concept that The Rock is actually there to sabotage Roman because he's he's like, you've got disdain to my bloodline because you're not a competing champion. You know, Tom, he's just been getting good. I had that theory a while back, but. Yeah, yeah, it seems like a lot. Okay, now let's see. So, we, again, what I believe will then be a night two. Uh, we're going to start with Bobby Lash Lashley and the Street Profits versus Final Testament in the six-man tag Philadelphia Street Fight. I don't care. I mean, I, I would like to just go for the Street I, yeah. Profits. They're entertaining, even though I think they, as villains, they're very dull. Uh, and the Street Caden Pro people. No, wait a minute. The Street Profits are villains? What? Well, with Bobby, they're, they kind of went bad guy now. They're yeah, not... but in this group, the New Testament is... Oh, yeah. I, but I was just... I wasn't keeping it specifically to this match. Uh, I was saying in general, since they've gone heel, uh, I have found them less okay. interesting. Um, but yeah, and I don't care about... I, Caden Cross is fine, but his, his group is just not clicking. I don't think that that whole bit is working. Yeah. The thing is, I, I don't know. I can't see them being those two bruisers. That they've got. Yeah, they'll find a way. They're very, very acrobatic and talented. The New Testament or the yeah. authors, of, authors of something or other. <sighs> authors of dumb names. That's what they should be. Yeah. Um, authors of pain or something like that. Something yeah. stupid. All right, LA Knight, AJ Styles. L A Knight. Yeah. yeah. AJ ain't going to like it. That's going to mm -hmm. be rough, but it's going to be LA Knight. Yeah, I, I don't like AJ's turn to heal. Cause it, I mean, he's always been a little healy. Yeah, but he's just been a whiny bitch. Yeah, yeah. We don't, we don't, we don't. I don't like we, who else are whiny bitches. The only whiny bitch. Mary puts up with enough whiny bitch <laughs> in her life. Um, all right. Speaking of whiny bitches, <laughs> Logan Paul uh, versus Randy Orton and Kevin Owens, or RKO squared, as we like to say around these parts. Does, does Logan cheat and maintain or... One of our boys actually is. You know what? I'm going to go Logan Cheats and maintains because I'm pretty sure he has a long contract with WWE now. That's why you're seeing a lot more of him. And, I mean, yeah. who do you pick to give that belt to? And I feel like there's still more to be done with him healing around being a villain yeah. and holding that. So. And the thing is, he may only I, – I wouldn't be surprised if his contract's like, I only stay around if I've got the, a fucking title. That's... Maybe, yeah. So that's where we're going there. I would be fine if we're proven wrong. Bailey versus Io Sky. I need Bailey to do it. I need yeah, Bailey I to do so. it. I think damage control is about to have a, a knockdown. And that's the story. And I mean, where where do you put that if not WrestleMania? Now, with the the damage control versus the, the girls, uh, Bel Air and all that, uh -huh. uh, it, it, are titles on? Are tag team titles uh, on? No. Okay. I don't think I don't think so. Damage control were. would still maintain. If they were, I said it in the gold. video, but I don't remember now, and I don't want to lose my place scrolling. Right. So <laughs> sorry. Um, then we have our Drew McIntyre, Seth Rollins. Ah, oh, Drew, stop being such a whiny bitch. <laughs> actually, he, I, I, we wouldn't really actually, fall in that category. I but. think Drew might actually win this one. I do think I love Seth, and I love him as a fighting champion, but I do think it's about time, and I think Seth would be okay with that. Oh, yeah, because what the prediction we had, or I had, or somebody, and then I liked it, was, yeah, 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 yeah. Drew finally wins gold. Mm -hmm. And the motherfucking oh, Damien mm -hmm. comes out, cashes in, and takes it from him. Yeah. And he had gold for like three minutes. Yeah, no, that's... I think that might be our most likely scenario. Yeah, that would be incredible. Because he'll have some time to have recovered from the latter match. Uh-huh. And then that leaves the one thing that we're not ready to talk about, Cody versus uh, Roman, because... Uh, well, you know what? I guess we could. Let's just do dual, dual predictions then. That way we can get this out of the way and we don't got to remember. Just do, okay. you know, what each version. So... Start with the clean version. Okay. I easily think in that point, 
I think Cody's getting it no matter what. I, and that's because I, I yeah. want him to. I need him to. I'm so sick of Roman Reigns not being there, not doing anything. Yeah. And especially with the addition of The Rock now taking not 20 minutes, but like 30 to 40 minutes of the beginning of any show they're on with five minutes of content and the rest of them walking around and, and like posing mm. like divas. Um, so I'm, I'm just done with it. So I'm going to, even though I may be wrong, I'd say Cody wins. But I do think there'll be a lot of attempted cheating here. With a lot of outside help, but oh, in a way yeah. that doesn't get them disqualified because they don't actually get in the ring or strike an opponent. What do you think on the clean? That sounds about right. Now on the, the no rules, incredible thing. Yeah, that's when all hell breaks loose, but everybody beats the hell out of everybody and Cody maintains. Yeah, the, the no rules is the, yeah, the, the locker room gets rallied because they're, they're tired of bloodline bullshit. Yep. Because, I mean, now I, I kind of wish Sam it wasn't involved with the Gunther thing because he has major beef with the bloodline. Yeah. KO does. Yeah, but I mean, again, that was on a different night than the final night, I think. Or, yeah. you know, so he could come out and, like, he we might. could really do that. That would be pretty cool. But, yeah, there might be just anybody who's gotten a beat down from them in the last couple of years might be like, yeah, we'll dogpile on this. Or the wild card prediction that somehow they did, that John Cena does show up to help. And then on top of that, um, sorry, it was a smudge or something. On top of that, um, and that's not enough, so Stone Cold comes in to stop The Rock from getting involved, so we finally get some Stone Cold, because he's just ter sick of everybody's bullshit. <laughs> and then no, him and Cody okay. smash beers at the no, end. No, no, no. Here's what I want. I want Cody to put in a call to, like, Roman Reigns' mama and The Rock's mama, and they come down and go, You two! All of you! What are you doing? Or then, then Vin Diesel drives in and jumps over the ring and flips his car like, you know, 360. But while he's upside down, he like drops a crowbar right into Cody's hand at the right time. to <laughs> <laughs> then, then The Rock tries to get involved, but Jason Statham comes kicking shit over like, nah. <laughs> Fuck your Hobbs sequel. It's all Shaw time now, baby. It's Shaw time. <laughs> This is, this is like, this is like, since they're getting Cody's mom involved, you know, this is like Cody's going like, I made some calls. Yeah. <laughs> and mom like, squad. <laughs> yeah, that, that would, oh God, that would be the best thing ever. That'd be pretty funny. Okay, well, we need to get some sleep so we can get ready for a long day of that. Plus my birthday dinner, so, which has to be rushed, but whatever, it's fine. Oh, I got pizza. Oh, I better not overeat pizza. Look at the cute kitties. <laughs> they stopped. Like, it's like, mm -hmm. we're not doing nothing cute. We're badass. We're vicious. Okay, we'll see you uh, manana for the rest. Happy birthday to me! Hi. <laughs> Thought I'd be weird for camera. Um, we kind of forgot to shoot our reaction because it's early. We're all we're all hustling to just wake the hell up. Um, we were wrong about Gacy, but that was cool. Well, Gacy won. I know, but we didn't predict him to win. I think we wanted him to win. Never mind. Yeah. Well, no, we're not wrong. We're one. We're two for two. Uh, we didn't predict Ridge Holland. What the fuck's that about? Go home. Retire already. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, but yay, the Wolf Dogs took it. Yay. That was a cool match, but the Wolf Dogs definitely took it. And it's my birthday, so now she's going to take it. My bullshit, I mean. I'm going to go open up more Lorcana, drink more orange juice, and then coffee. Thought about having a pot of coffee. I may make a pot of coffee tomorrow because it'll be more chill. Okay. I haven't had a pot of coffee in almost, almost this whole year. Because huh? I switched to the single cups when everything started going wrong. Mm -hmm. Starting to do a lot of things I haven't done all year. It's been a pretty good birthday weekend so far. <laughs> oh, I wish I could stop sneezing. I need to take an allergy bed. Uh, we're three for three. Predicted it. Boba Femi won. Uh, that was a pretty good match, actually. Yeah, especially because I going into it, I didn't realize that they're all kind of about the same size. They're pretty big, beefy boys. Beefy boys. Um, so that's a good time. Mm -hmm. uh, we also forgot to talk about the intro with uh, Noam Dar and his crew. Uh, that was oh, awesome. Yeah, that was great. Especially the uh, Chase U stuff, really. But... <laughs> well, the reaction to Die Jack stuff. Oh, this is good. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that, that whole segment was good. They're, they're yeah. fun so far. I hope we get more of that. Haven't really seen much of them since the opening, but uh, uh, they're, they're very enjoyable to watch. So. Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't know what's up next, but I'm almost done with orange juice switching to coffee. I'm gonna take an allergy med because I can stop sneezing and blow my nose. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna open up some more little Arcana cards. It's my birthday, I do it alone. <laughs> Yay, boo. Yay, boo. Yay. Um, not exactly as predicted, but we did get our win. Our Thea, Hale, and crew, they took it. Kalani Jordan seems to be stepping up her acrobatics. It was incredible. Yeah. Um, it was cute when uh, they tried to throw Thea over and the boyfriend <laughs> saved her. And then Duke caught her a second yeah, time. Yeah, then Duke caught her the second time. That was so fun. Yeah. And then I loved when, when they were, Thea and Jane were slapping or punching. Yeah. <laughs> and the audience was back and forth on the boo, yay, boo, yay. So, uh, yeah, it was a good time. This, stand, this is shaping up to be a really good stand and deliver so far. <laughs> Well, we got our first one wrong. Yeah. I think. I think we, we were going with Lyra. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It was okay. I think we both... Well, I know I kind of checked out on this one a little bit. I was sorting cards. <laughs> I was kind of watching. There was some cool stuff. Yeah. It was, it was a good match. It was kind of brutal, but... Yeah. I, the thing with Paxton felt a little pointless. Yeah. Or Paxley. Or whatever. whatever her name is. Yeah. The Pax Bax. I don't know what that means. Um, two matches to go. It's only 140, so this might be over quite earlier than I thought, so we probably could have put this on a delay and slept in. <laughs> That's right. It just gives me time to get up and get ready and maybe do a little shopping before dinner. I could use a few accessories like some play mat uh, cases and stuff and some more ooh, ooh, deck pods. Hello, William Guy, manager, Regal, whatever his name was. I can't think of it right now. Yeah. Okay. Meow. 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 Look at this this gorgeous young thing over here. Me robbing the cradle. <laughs> Fellas, get get them young while they're still trained. <laughs> oh God, I couldn't even I couldn't even make the joke. It's so wrong. All right, yeah. two more matches. Uh, I know. Uh, what's so what's that? Oh, Dragon Off and Tony. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Well, I was gonna shave and watch some of this match, but it happened before I got started. So, uh, all right, we missed on that one, but that was a brutal, awesome match. Yeah. I, uh... And Dragonov maintains. Yeah, I, I think it would have been more interesting if Tony won, but, you know, it was a good match. Yeah, and I think this is a rivalry that could go a little further. It's got more gas in the tank. I love that Tony turned down the brass knuckles. I thought yeah. that was really cool. I'm waiting to see if there'll be a little bit of sportsmanship here, too. Because that was a brutal, intense yeah. match, man. That was that was a good one to watch. I thought Tony got his knee up at the very end. And yeah, he did. Oh, he kind of did, yeah. Got him in the... In the nuts. <laughs> Got him in the nut sack. Okay, let's see how this. Yeah, no, it's just in case there's some kind of cool little sportsmanship. And then I'll go shave and, and poop during Carmelo and, and, and Trick. <laughs> and then I can shower and go. Here we go. Oh, yeah, there's a handshake from, from Ilya. Okay. Tony respectful. Right. Yeah. If he's going to do anything, he ain't going to be in the ring, right? It's going to be behind the scenes later. Yeah. Oh, Ilya and I put on his lipstick so they can kiss. <laughs> to play with a lot. I know, but it's weird how it, it really, this time, really does look like <laughs> lipstick. I made it as a joke, but the more I'm looking at it. Why is Tony raising his hand? Because he put up a good fight. Okay. Well, that was very nice. All right, we'll get on to the last bit. Okay, so uh, there you have it. Stand and Deliver went on on a high note with my mm -hmm. man whooping that trick. Whoop that tree. Despite many times I thought it was not going to go his way. Yeah. All those ref knockouts, all the chair stuff. Yeah. <laughs> the poor ref. But that was a really entertaining match. Now, I don't know if you noticed uh, when Carmelo came out, he had like that uh, Wakanda theme. I thought he had a bit of a Wakanda jacket. thing going on. But yeah, I necklace like, too. Down the spine on the back, it said whooped. I'm like, is that the message you want on your shirt? <laughs> yeah, that's weird. I didn't notice that. I did. <laughs> I like uh, Trick's thing coming out in the anointed one uh, robe mm -hmm. as well. That was pretty cool. But yeah, high flying, high intensity, powerful match of greatness. It'll be interesting to see where that story goes from here. Um, but yeah, it was a good time. That was a really good stand and deliver pretty much through and through. So high hopes for WrestleMania. Yeah. But now I got to make margaritas for later and I got to take a shower so I can go to the mall and buy a few card based things. And I get, get to the din din that we'll do here. I think we'll put it at, we may put it after or before the wrestling. I don't know what my editing order will be. Mm -hmm. And um, then we'll come back and we'll get on WrestleMania, brother. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Ooh, Shucky yeah. ducky. I'm mixing, mixing things. <laughs> <clears throat> I love her. Okay. I love this young lady, this <laughs> very young lady here. 
For those of you that don't know, I'm 13 days older. It's funny to be like, I'm robbing the cradle. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll see y'all in a little while. I uh, called it. Um, it was an okay match. I mean, not super exciting, but uh, yeah. like in Rhea's look. Yeah, it's definitely one of the better ones. Her entrance was cool. Yeah, very cool. It's interesting they're in an outdoor arena, and it currently feels like 48 out there. Be yeah, interesting to see how that show. goes. Mm -hmm. You can see the wind blowing through their hair pretty harshly at times, too. We've spotted shirt guy. We're looking for flag guy. Um, well, you know what? When you really get going in the match, I'm, I'm, maybe the cold feels good. Yeah, that's what you hope, but you never know. Uh, random other aside, I opened, Mary gave me another pack of Star Wars cards. I got a Hyperspace Vader. <laughs> it's the bestest birthday. Um, but yeah, I mean, pretty good start to WrestleMania. I'm liking the layout. We got a long way to go and a long time to get there. We're going to see what these folks can't get done. That's not how that goes. The Scar Giver. Oh, they're talking about a show. I was like, are we calling Rhea the Scar Giver? Um, okay. So we'll see what's... Ne oh, oh, it's Rebel Moon. We haven't seen part one, so probably shouldn't watch a trailer for part two. Oh, this is part two? Yeah, they're already... Because, you know, they're putting out the bullshit undercut PG-13s. And the reason it's not doing well is because we're all waiting for the promised R-rated director's cut. Like, why waste your time when you know the good shit's coming? I think that's part of why it's not doing well, you know, but I mean, yeah, like I don't, I don't see a reason for, I, eventually I'll watch all the cuts, but cause I like that kind of stuff. Yeah. But if we know the director's vision is not represented and their representation is coming, why do yeah. we bother watching this? True. All right. Anyways, wrestling. <laughs> What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that match was incredible through and through. Yes. Um, I'm fucking loved when our truth stopped DIY. Like, you go for those, we'll go for these. And I was like, yes, I just knew it was too early. I mean, A Town, Grayson, they'll lose it quick enough. Yeah. But what a fucking finish. Yes. Yeah. And my boy gets it. Yeah. <laughs> And then Damien, oh, by the way, we noticed that it was weird, but we think we know why. Mary really caught it. But Damien, we saw a ref, like, Damien was all alone going up a ladder, and a ref starts tapping at his legs, like, and then grabs a radio. Yeah. yeah. And then we noticed the ladder was fucked. So we think she was yeah. just trying to tell him, like, that ladder's fucked. Be careful or whatever. Yeah. Because then the throw of the Miz off there was supposed to be a choke slam, but didn't quite land. But yeah. that was amazing. You, you got, I probably said. Yeah, no, that's that, that's pretty much it. I the mean, tables, the chairs, the ladders. I'm, I'm wondering what exactly the ladders are made out of, though. It's like a very dense foam, but... Like super high-density foam. Yeah, just dense enough to hold the people, but soft enough to not destroy them when you break it. But some yeah. incredible acrobatics and body-giving yeah. theatrics here. Every bit of this. This was a legend. <laughs> and fucking JD got what he deserved. Yeah. A table and a half. Yeah. Um, this was just great. This was through and through great. That was a fan fucking tastic match, and my birthday magic works again. Our truth, a motherfucking champion. Yeah. With the yeah. Miz. So now they have to help DIY take it from Grayson and, and A Town. Yeah. Um, maybe on Monday or Friday. I don't know who's what brand. That yeah, was awesome. I, I was looking forward to having Regeneration X as. The, the, the tag team. Yeah. And we broke them up. I love it. So yeah. we're doing great so far. Okay. Wheatley vodka. I don't know. I've had Wheatley in mixed drinks. I've never had it more simple. But it's weird. It's a commercial. It's an ad. It's a sponsor. Okay. We'll be back for more. Hell yeah. Taylor Swift's boyfriend's brother. Yeah. <laughs> his roommate, sister's cousin's <laughs> uncle. Um, sorry, we got some putties taking my spot. I was, I was dealing with dishes and cutting some limes for the margaritas pitchers that we made. I mean, that was... It was... The, the antics outside the ring were more entertaining than the actual match, I think. I picked a good match to get up and get a few things done. Because it was okay, but I was like... Uh, the uh, yeah, the one guy getting launched off the ropes with the assist from the other two for his fun. WrestleMania moment was absolutely a WrestleMania I think moment. He's that before. Yeah, yeah, but that's an awesome move. And I had some distance though we haven't seen, and some speed. 
and I wish I knew more lyrics to this song to make the joke work. Uh, but she's not alone. <laughs> In a time of need. Oh. I know the song. Yeah, you know it better. Oh, I know you get what I'm doing, but... Um, yeah, I mean, it was good. It was fine. But at the same time, it's like, okay, yeah, it's about what I expected. I didn't care. Uh, now, I'm glad that uh, Adrian Donde... The new guy. The new guy Don't look to me for help. <laughs> that he was actually... Because he came out, he was wearing, like, this Loki-esque coat and the Loki theme. Loki, and, not um, Loki, but... <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't a backstabby thing, but I do think that would have been a more interesting story. But I'm glad in this case that wasn't the case. Yeah, because I'm liking this guy. Ooh. Yeah, he's got potential. Ooh, we got Jay and Jimmy. Is that what's next? Yeah. All right. Still can't get over that ladder match. That was so fucking hype. <laughs> I know. That, that honestly, I feel like that would make a better ender than. Well, it depends on where we in, how we end up with you know oh, that's that. That's true. But uh, other bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, the other awesome bullshit. I am John. Oh. Okay, let's go watch this. Well, that was oddly. Should we move to the basement on the big screen with the margaritas? Um, that was relatively short. Yeah. What was there was great. Not what we predicted. We did predict them winning, but I was kind of thinking Bailey would get involved to get respect. Yeah. I did make a joke about Jade. Is she going to, like, grab each oh, side of her... Oh, I see the mist. I oh, missed I missed that. the mist, too. What the fuck? Um, I saw that, though. Yeah, the hair whip. Damn. I thought Jade was going to, like, a hand on each side, like, pull her face down and reveal she's an alien underneath. Yeah. Uh, they, by the way, these ladies had the best entrance of the night thus far. Uh, Glow and yeah. Bailey and, uh, not Bailey, Glow and Bianca and, uh, Jade. Yeah. Um, so what we got, I think, was a pretty great match. I just feel like it was a little short. I'm a little surprised. Yeah. Kind of thought that'd go longer. I wonder if Oh, they... man, there's only two more matches. 918, are they ending early? Not that uh, they should have a time restraint, but I do wonder if they decide, like, well, this is one match where we can lengthen or stretch as needed. Yeah, but what? how much time do they need? It's only 918. There's only two matches left. They're big matches, but how long are these? Even if they're, like, 40 matches each, they 40 minute, 45 minutes each, they aren't going to quite make it to 11. Minutes. I guess with a break in between, 45 minutes a match, they might make it right to 11. Yeah. Interesting. But... Or maybe the ladies were like, uh, we're going to make this one short because it's fucking cold. Oh, it could be that. The weather could be fucking them up. Um, maybe you need a Snickers. New tag team. Great minutes. I loved every second. Wait, will our truth be in this? Maybe you need a Snickers. Try right your Snickers. Maybe you need a Snickers. Maybe you need a Snickers. Maybe you need a Snickers. Flavor, flavor. Maybe you taste it. No, Is the director going to eat it and turn it into our truth? It's the only reason I'm keeping the camera rolling. <laughs> Maybe you just need a. You get it. Maybe you need a snicker. Okay, that, <laughs> that worked for me. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't really have much else to say about the match. Like I said, what we got was great. Yeah, yeah, I just felt like we didn't get enough of it. Like in their hair and stuff. Yeah. So I was like, I, I, so I do wonder if, if we have women who are barely wearing anything out in the ring. How yeah. long can we keep them out there? And let's keep in mind, it was felt like 48 when the sun was out. It's been down a while. And I know some people are like, well, the hot lights. Yeah, um, lights aren't hot like they used to be since everything moved to LED over the last decade. LEDs are not hot, so they aren't putting out the heat that old par cans and, uh, you know, uh, not incandescent, but halogen bulbs would and stuff. Take it from a grip slash gaffer. Uh, there's a tremendous difference. So, yeah, they got to be. Granted, they're doing some athleticism, but I don't know. How, they don't sweat normally. So, yeah. you know. All right. But I think, oh, do we have only two? Ma yeah. Okay. So I guess it's Sammy versus. I thought it was. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's right. Sammy versus Gunter and uh, the big old tag match. Mm -hmm. Okay. We better drink these margaritas or else we're going to have time to watch a Disney movie. <laughs> <laughs> Whoo, not quite as exciting as Ron, uh, I mean, our truth, but uh, we both woo girl the hell out of that. <laughs> Nothing to do with. Uh, the match itself overall was pretty good, though it had some lulls. Yeah. But when Sammy set up for that second hell of a kick, I knew. I just yeah. knew. 
And, oh yeah. Well, and also, I kind of suspect because Guthrie was on day 666 of his title ring. I'm like, well, that's an appropriate place to stop that. Yeah, if I was a wrestler, like, I'd be like, you know what? I'm fine. If that's going to be my legacy, I'm fine with that. It's a fun thing to say. I had 666 <laughs> days. Now, does Gunther take a devil persona now? or <laughs> He's the second omen. Go see the first omen. It's really awesome. And devil, <laughs> a late night with the devil and immaculate. Um, and blood and honey, too. That's out of theaters. Um, yeah. That was pretty good. It, it feels good at the end. I love the setup. Although, I joked with Mary uh, when he's walk Oh, the KO thing was great. Oh, yeah. Walking out. But I was joking. It felt like that moment in Spinal Tap. I'm like, he's, like, going to get lost. He's like, WrestleMania! Why am I in the boiler room? Excuse me. Which way to the ring? Oh, all right. WrestleMania! <laughs> you see Spinal Tap, you know. But look at that. That's our boy. I like it when championships change hands. They don't need to all the time. But I'm sick of these super fucking long runs where it goes for years. That's just ridiculous. But, aw. It's, it's kind of interesting to see if it, are we going to have some power struggles with Imperium now. Ooh, that's a good question. That's a very good question. Because I, I could see uh, Kaiser giving him some lips. Like, I don't see no gold on me. <laughs> Yeah, you finally failed us, uh, uh, Master Chief. Why am I saying? I can't think of the word. Uh, Ring General. Ring General. <laughs> Mas Ring General. Master Chief, what the fuck? He doesn't wear a helmet. Neither does the... No, anyways, uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was pretty dope. Oh, my God, are we down to the last match then? Yep, we are. Oh, okay, what time is it now? 9.47. By the time they package, I'm thinking this... And by, Oh, God, by the time it takes Roman and Rock to walk down, it'll be 10.30. No, but it'll be 10. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So it'll be an epic 40, 45 minutes. It's going to end a little early tonight. I mean, we might get to watch something else after this, but, you know, it's for us, so. Yeah, I, I do, again, I kind of wonder if they're going to truncate some things just because it's so fucking gold. <laughs> I don't know. I doubt it. You got to suffer for your art. All right, we'll be back with one more for tonight. Ooh, ooh. Grogu, put that back. You don't need that. As predicted, a little disappointing, even though it's what we wanted. It's not wanted, but um, of course they win. But you know what? That was an incredible match. It was kind of fun to see The Rock actually wrestle, wrestle again for a while. Yeah. And I'm just going to say, I am starting to wonder if there is a long con going on with The Rock again. Back to my original predictions of things. Because walking out, he looked, he was using his actor abilities. and He looked legitimately regretful. Like, this was gross. I hated I had to do it. Well, for the plan to work. I'm reading into it, but... My, my, whereas my read is more as like, fuck, I had to pull as much shit as I did to win this match, which I think should have been easy. Maybe, but I like my read more. It makes more sense for the story. Um, your read, I'm not saying your read is bad. I'm just saying my read works better for the story of it all. If we are going to end up with that thing I talked about a long time ago, that The Rock is really just in a long con to stop Roman in the real match that matters... Although I also hate Rock's bullshit fake-ass fucking title he was apparently given at Hall of Fame that he lifts at the end like he fucking earned it. And I'm like, bitch, you didn't earn that shit. Earn a real fucking title. Go after Roman. Oh, wait, <laughs> Cody stopped that. <laughs> I also want to put out, I took a nap, and I took a good time for a nap because I'm not joking. It was 9.48 when the match before this ended, and it was 10.20 by the time anything started in this match. There was a half a fucking hour between the match before the finale and the finale match. That was fucking ridiculous. Yeah. And I'm counting a lot of that as them walking to the ring and stuff. Uh, but great match. They set up some great drama with Seth and his knee for tomorrow, which, again, I hate to see Seth lose, but I think that makes our predictions more act more likely to be accurate. It was nice to see a Roman match where there wasn't really that much cheating or other interference. Other than The Rock going like, you know who your boss is, right, right Riff? Right, but it wasn't one of those things where like, the good guy's winning. Oh, here comes fucking Jay and Solo out of the audience or down the ramp bullshit that we've seen a thousand no, that's times. Night. <laughs> yes, but it's legal tomorrow night. But he's going to have some help tomorrow night. I'm more, I'm more convinced Cena and Stone Cold are popping in tomorrow. That would be amazing. It's not, I, I'm overhyping, but, but, um, yeah. that was a really good time. This was a great first night to WrestleMania. Yeah. What I, uh, pretty much everything I wanted happened. It was all pretty much entertaining with very, even, even the worst matches were still really good. They just weren't as hype maybe as the great matches. Yeah. Honestly, my biggest complaint is the advertising is a little out of hand. Yeah. 
the prime logo in the ring and it's not the it's not the specific things they're advertising like it could be anything yeah. but having the logo in the ring is like one thing but on top of that they've had so much advertising on like the board the like the digital boards are outside of the ring yeah. that it, it's been too much it's a little it's a little too much like one or the other don't do both like give me that wrestlemania theming a little bit more than they did but um you know that's just personal taste um but there was some epic stuff in this so yeah what do you think i talked most of that sorry <laughs> oh yeah no it was it was, i mean that last match kept feeling like okay this is going to be in this is going to be the end this is fucking a but in like a more believable way than usual yeah, usually yeah, yeah. you know when it's like oh this is bullshit not the end yeah yeah but also going back to my rock feeling regretful i'm, I'm calling some of that is also that he had plenty of opportunity to go back in that ring and beat the shit out of Cody in front of his mom with the belt. Yeah. And he didn't. But he walked away looking like, what am I doing? What have I done? This was painful. Mm -hmm. Like a very actor performance kind of way that I'm really interested to see if I'm right about this. Yeah. But it was awesome seeing him. And it was, it was cool seeing him swear and stuff since you don't usually get that in WWE. Yeah. So that was fun too. Huh? <laughs> what is Muse scoring this? That would be dope. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Are we calling yeah, it? Because it's early. It. It's kind of early. It's oh, actually, it's eleven seventeen. That was like an hour long match. All right. I'm gonna make Mary a second margarita, maybe. It's probably she only had one. Maybe we'll watch some Disney. But that's WrestleMania Day One. We'll talk about Day Two tomorrow. Oh, 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 oh. Woo! 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 Yeet! Yeah. No yeet. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Um, no, I, um, what else can we do? Um, boo. Yay. Boo. Yay. All right, we're going to go. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Well, okay. It was an awesome match. Drew won. I like the emotion. I like the sportsmanship. Damien didn't come out. When I found out it was the first match, I was like, oh, I don't think they would do that this early in the night. I was just going, like, what would be interesting is if they came out, tried to cash it, and shit happened, and didn't, then be like, they come out again later on for the Roman Reigns match. Yeah, because a buddy of mine says Roman maintains, but he's so beat up, then Damien maybe cashes, uh, kinda, which could be interesting, too. But I feel like Cody really needs to win now to, to validate the beating Seth took oh, last yeah. night. Yeah, absolutely. He needs to win it for Seth, if nothing else. Yeah. Although Drew is still celebrating, so we could still know he's getting out of the ring. Too late. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm a little disappointed only because I had such a cool idea for it. Oh, is it like his girlfriend he took the selfies with then? Oh, that's his girlfriend. Uh, his wife. I'm or his wife, yeah. So that's not her. Okay. Because he's got a wedding ring on. <clears throat> right. I hope, so I hope that's his wife. Well, who knows these days with wrestlers in the road. Um, okay. Not bad. It was a really good match. It was a really good match. All right. Nice start tonight, too. Yeah. I'm going to drink some more tequila. Yo, it's happening. Okay, we were going to talk about the Punk stuff because he has to do something in Philly, but it's happening. Damien's here. Oh, because Punk injured him enough. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Right now. Oh, if this is short, I'm going to roll because this might be short enough for us to just watch it. Oh, yeah, because he has beat the hell up now, thanks to Punk. Bell is yeah. rung, and he's going right for his move. Oh, that was a huge one. And here we go. One, two, three. Ah, oh, they oh. fucking did it. That's, and Punk is laughing oh. his ass off. That is oh. great. That is oh. fucking great. Yep, kind of figured that was going to happen. Well, I was hoping, but they really had me sold it wasn't going to. That's so fucking awesome, dude. Man, we are. Yeah. We should be writing this WrestleMania because they're doing everything we're saying, pretty much. Yes. Oh wow. Oh man, McIntyre's gonna be so pissed when he wakes up. <laughs> but honestly, the stuff with Punk made it even that much more sweet. But the thing is, McIntyre kind of did it to himself. Oh, absolutely. But I love that he was like gloating in Punk's face, like, "Get a shot of this. I want to frame it on my wall." <laughs> I was like, "All right, frame it on your wall now, motherfucker. You had it for like two minutes." Punk just clapping. Yeah. Genius. <laughs> Yes. I mean, I hate to see Dominic happy, but other yeah. than that, <laughs> JD's like trying to get it on the group hug. He's like, let me in on this, guys. Let me in. No, no, no. Fuck off. Mommy. This yeah. Is like, okay, mommy's happy. Mommy's happy. Yeah. We can all breathe easy now. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Great start, WrestleMania night, too. 
Great fucking start. There he is. He's like, what the fuck just happened? He's figuring it out. I don't think he knows yet. Oh, that's amazing. Woo! Show me where McIntyre is. <laughs> Punk's clapping at him like, ha ah, ha, buddy. Oh, he's so pissed. He's going to blame Punk somehow. Oh, he's totally going to blame Punk. Yeah. Because Punk went and kicked him in the noggin half a dozen times. And... <laughs> well, he is what he gets for gloating right in his face. Because if, if he hadn't taken that beat down, they theoretically wouldn't have come out. Correct. Because he was still in pretty good shape. Yep, yep. Well, tell Punk to suck it again, Drew, and see what happens. Good for you, Damien. <laughs> Even though the Judgment Day pisses me off, I still like Damien and Mommy. The rest, uh, I mean, Finn's all right. But... Oh, God, how bad would it have been if... I don't, even if, Ooh. if Cody or Ro Ro Roman won, either way, because you know that one was going to be a knockdown beatdown. And, you know, and then they took that one. I'd be like, no! Yeah. But this is like, yeah! Yeah, this feels right. Okay, I want to see what this is. Okay. All right, we just did the Bobby uh, and, and crew versus. Uh, just, uh, testament of yeah whatever or... losers that was pretty fun <laughs> it's a little shame it was kind of cool that the table fucked up uh -huh. just to see it but it's also kind of a shame because it's actually turned into a really fun match and snoop's commentary was adding a lot to it yeah i mean it's kind of silly oh dang i didn't see that yeah wow, mary okay. was uh, warming up her her dinner um but this turned out to be a really oh, good one yeah uh, there were so many tables and bubba ray dudley as a guest ref was really fun i love when he put on his glasses <laughs> that was really funny. And like, oh, you don't fucked up now because now I'm on the other people's teams. <laughs> he was like me in that, uh, that yeah. let's play the other night, basically. So yeah, everything oh, about yeah. that was a really fun match, despite going into it not caring too much. And yeah. uh, again, we called who we they who we wanted to win, did the winning. Yeah. Can't believe we're an hour in. This first hour's flown by. Yeah. Well, they did, barely did any setup between the first and second rounds. True. Well, there's plenty more good to come, so we'll get there. Yay. Yeah, let Mary eat. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> LA Knight took it. Uh, We're happy campers. He did something I hadn't seen before, which is tear up the floor and around the ring. It doesn't happen often. I think I've seen it before, but it's pretty rare. Uh, I did like they had to quickly move the camera off the guy who was the uh the slim jim in the beginning oh. he wasn't biting it he was full on like blowjob motioning like come on guy we're trying to cut a promo here yeah. you know <laughs> um I, I i i'm not gonna make fun of anybody but it is interesting who won the car mm -hmm. it doesn't seem like from That's visual like, judgment which is not fair does not seem like a good pairing it's not the demographic you would expect yeah there you go That's a nicer way of putting it uh but the match was good it's a good one was it, I mean, we've seen better in this WrestleMania. It was, it was kind of bland relative to what we've been seeing. Yeah. But it was still a good time. Yeah. Love us from LA tonight. Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to say? Sorry. At least LA won. That's all I needed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> all right. Next match. <sighs> Surprised he did it without cheating is what we were saying, even though he tried. I was like, Two out of three guys I would have been happy with winning. Not one of them, yeah. Also, I mean, I guess he did try to cheat, and cheating's not really a thing in this because it was no rules. Mm -hmm. uh, but pretty entertaining match again. I hate. I did like when Randy finally turned on KO. I hated to see it, but yeah. I'd love to see them team up. Um, RKO squared. Yeah, there was some really... Uh, yeah, cubed squared. No, you're right. Or... Um, it was just some really good athleticism again. And again, I hate to give Logan, Logan props, but I'm not going to lie. He has some really great shocked, surprised faces. He does. Um, so he, I don't like the guy, but he's really entertaining in this. I also did see Jake Paul was over in the family member ringside slot. I'm surprised that didn't come into play. No idea who I show speed is, but I mean... That's how things go. You can be super famous on the internet and plenty... It's not about being too old. <laughs> Because I know plenty of people in his age group and whatever, but it doesn't matter how famous you are on the internet, there will always be plenty of people that don't know who you are. Uh, it just doesn't have the reach that other things do, with exception, of course. But um, pretty good match overall. I enjoyed it. It was entertaining to watch. I want to see more KO and RKO together. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. More. Well, that went a little smoother than I expected. Oh, yeah. And maybe it wasn't quite as hype a match as I had hoped. Mm -hmm. But it's nice to see Bailey get it. Yeah. 
No, no woman has the, the money in the bank. I had to think for a second. It's like, wait, are we about to have a surprise? No, yeah, was the money in the bank. Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, I am surprised her uh, other ladies, like Asuka and stuff, weren't out here to fuck with shit. Uh, they came out with her. I don't know where they disappeared to. That's concerning. So Bailey may still be getting a beat down or something. By the way, I keep meaning to mention it and I haven't, but in the early matches, I don't know why they're only doing it in the start. But I love those shots they have of the wrestlers in the ring with a shallow depth of field. Very yeah. cinematic. I'd like to see more of that. I don't think they're doing it at night. This is weird. No, I, I have they? I, I wasn't. They were doing it just now, actually. They might have. No, not that. No, not not. That's a. You but, meant in this match? The start of this match? No, I mean not in the flashbacks. Now, I'm not talking about the flashbacks. We no, were talking no, about the same thing, and then I said. Yes, but. Um, <laughs> When I said it, they switched to the flashbacks. I know, but I know I know what shot you were referring to, and I'm saying I don't think I don't think that was the case. Um, Stop with the flashbacks, and we can say. <laughs> no, they have a very special camera. All the other cameras are calibrated for a certain look, um, because you can tell when they're cutting out of that camera into another camera for that camera to reposition to the other person. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, congratulations, Bailey. We'll see where this story goes. Yeah. And uh, we'll see what happens with us to damage control. And uh, I guess we just have the big one. The big one's all that's left. And it's in my pants. And there you have it. One of the greatest WrestleManias I've ever seen. It's like a complete reversal from last year, honestly. It really is. Because last year was such a massive disappointment. Well, and you know what I'm remembering? And I'm not going to get into the politics of it. But I'm remembering that Vince, when he kind of left fairly recently before and Triple H got to take over and we were like damn it's starting to get really good uh -huh. um, and we had to stop fast forwarding shit because everything mattered and was cool yeah. but then Vince came back and it kind of got back to the eh, half of it's cool half of it's eh and now Vince is gone and Triple H is at it again it's like no wonder it was fucking great through and through mm -hmm. so um, there was a great match once yeah. we got to it once we got past the bullshit slow pacing stuff that I'm so sick of Okay, so I understand like Cody's was so fucking slow because they had to give Roman Reigns time to get his set up. Yeah. Because he had a whole fucking orchestra out there. Right, but I'm even talking once they were in the ring. Like, until you started getting the other people involved, it was just, like, uh, slow as fuck. And that yeah. bores the shit out of me. Um, but, man, it was great. And I know we were... It would have made... I'm not going to complain. I'm going to say, though, it would have made more sense for it to be Stone Cold... But man, the taker was a wonderful surprise. And doing the whole thing like rock disappears, like old school taker style. That got me in the in the that got me. That was fucking great. I Cena popping in, the whole deal, man. Thing is, I have no connection to the Undertaker. So I hear that dong sound and I'm like, Taco Bell? <laughs> Which is also cool. Like, I mean the little Yokero Taco Bell dog could have come out. That would have been amazing. <laughs> Bites Roman in his dick or something, rocking his dick. Um, but no, that was huge because I was of the era of the Taker and Rock and, and Stone Cold and all that. Yeah. I still would have loved to have seen Stone Cold so they could crush beers, but I guess they made it really family friendly at the end, you know, and it was really beautiful. Seth coming back as S.H.I.E.L.D. to like kind of redo his fucking Roman over, yeah. even though it failed, was still just a really cool little touch. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, that was great. That was just, that was great. This was through and through. I mean, there was a couple of matches that maybe for me were a little dull here or there. But overall, for one of these PLEs, this was hands down yeah. incredible. Just from start to finish. I love seeing all the boys put him up on his shoulders. Yeah. All their joy, watching his joy. That was yeah. great. That was just great. Yeah, of course, the, the big hope was that all the, those guys would have come out at the end. Yeah, I had like a big old five. brawl. Yeah, like you bring in some other bloodline, you know, older bloodline cats or whatever from that family. But uh, I think it went really, really well. I was really happy about it all. Um, and I'm excited for more. I think Raw is going to be really interesting. Yeah. Because uh, clearly Cody is now going to have to, you know, Seth's going to be like, you know, I'm going to come for you though now, right, Cody? Yeah. <laughs> like, I need a new belt. <laughs> and that the looks pretty is, nice. The other thing would have been if The Rock's mom came down with this flip-flop. <laughs> yeah. Nice lady backstage gave this to me. Yeah, I don't know what that accent is, but I yeah. I, it ran, gen, I have no idea. <laughs> Generic it. weird accent? Okay. Generic weird accent. Um, uh, but, uh, but yeah, no, that was uh, that was really satisfying. Uh, quick programming note, if you will. Uh, we realize next pay-per-view is Payback, and it's on Saturday, May 4th. That's a bit of a problem. 
Disney. I'll be in Disneyland, Disney World. <laughs> and it'll be days before I'm home. Don't know what we'll do there, but we'll do something. Um, there it was again. It was so good to see Taker come back Ooh. and do it. Uh, and actually do something. Unlike the last time we saw him where they teased NXT. him. Yeah, they teased him. He rode up on a bike and we didn't hear from him for months. Something yeah. tells me that was a Vince thing. That was probably when Vince took back over. Uh, you can tell me if I'm wrong. But yeah, this was great. I loved it. I had a great time with it. I hope you did too. It was a good, great birthday weekend. So I'm going to have to admit, I got a little misty with Millie Rhodey's win. She, wow, you his got, mom. You got his misty mom. and I didn't? Yeah, well... It's, it's, it's like his, I can see his mom cheering up and that just margaritas <laughs> yeah, it's uh, that's going like hey, yeah rock yeah there's going to be cheers on the belt that's going to be on the championship belt uh, damn skip it I was waiting for actually for somebody to pick up the, the belt and walk over Cody's mom and go like you want it that's <laughs> right? your name on it yeah. <laughs> she'd be like sure this is hilarious <laughs> All right, well, there you go. That was WrestleMania. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, obviously, we'll talk more stuff in the future. So, yay, and you get more vlog. Lots more vlog. Birthday vlog. All right, so uh, we did see Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, what, a couple weeks ago? Uh, uh, two point, weeks. It doesn't matter, really, but uh, we saw it when it came out. Uh, <laughs> loved it. Yeah. It's what I expected. It was like a live-action The Real Ghostbusters episode. Did I want more of some things? Yeah, I wanted more of all the things because I loved all the things I got, and I'm just being greedy. So it wasn't like it ruined my enjoyment of the movie. I'm just saying like I could have used more of the OGs. I could use more of certain young cast members. I could have used more of just everything. But I got a lot of great stuff. <laughs> I'll rewatch it a lot. I had fun. Again, I say favorite thing is just the tiny Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. It's kind of like the, the, the tiny ashes from Evil to Meet the Minions. Mm-hmm. I could see that. <laughs> I, um, I mean, I had a couple of like minor quibbles. Like, if you really start, if you really wanted to sit down and critique it and break it apart, you can find a lot of flaws and holes. Things like, okay, how long have they been busting ghosts in New York City, but Winston never told them about this other stuff? That seemed a little weird. <laughs> but, yeah. But, you know, I mean, again, it doesn't ruin it for me. It's like, I still had a good time. I got what I wanted from it. You know, lots of cool gear, lots of old gear, lots of new gear. Ecto-1 roaring through New York. Walter Peck was what I hoped he would be. Um, Finn Wolfhard's character, they really short stick, short it here because he didn't really have anything to do. They had a little side quest that it didn't really matter, but it was cute. Yeah. Uh, well, the thing is, your ensemble is an ensemble cast that got kind of big. Right. And when that happens, uh, there are people who are going to get the short end of the stick. <laughs> right. But I'm just saying, I'm just pointing out things that maybe, you know, are fair to point out. Uh, I love Patton Oswalt. But I don't know that he was necessary in this. Uh, you know, they could have figured that out on their own, I guess. Or, again, yeah. without spoiling any of it. I mean, you could have just as easily had Dan Aykroyd go, wait a minute. Yeah, like... <laughs> Pulls out a book. Yeah, because he is the paranormal guy. We could have gone to his shop and done it. But hey, this got us back to the library and nostalgia bait, sure. Uh, um, the trap stuff was cool. The stuff with the containment unit was really, really cool. I like the, the new traps, though. Um, I like that it was a different villain. I would have liked a little more of the villain. I think they used the OG, especially Winston and um, Ray were very well used in this movie. Uh, mm -hmm. Bill Murray was very well used. I just could have used a little bit more of him. And same for Janine. I feel like they set Janine up for some good stuff, but then they never really followed through with mm -hmm. too much Janine. You kind of wonder how much stuff got on the cutting room floor. Yeah, and I mean, because the movie flies. It's not boring or not dragging anywhere. So it's like, you probably could have spaced that out a little bit more and given us a little bit more of some of these beats. But, hey, I think we'll get another one because it did really well. <laughs> uh, now, I was to say about, again, this is me going back to my, my, my one of my critiques of Kong or, or the Kong and Godzilla. Is well, that, we haven't reviewed that yet. That's next, but. Oh, sorry, I've talked about this so much. Uh, <laughs> I was talking about somebody else. Uh, but the villain is like one of those force of nature villains, not a yappy chappy chew on scenery villains. Okay, so fair. I can see why it's sort of like a, a little goes a long way. It's like. In, yeah, but I mean, he, it's one of those like they kind of show up and it's, it's handled fairly easily. I would have liked to have 
I would have liked to have had a little more danger present from that. But what is happening is because of them. So all the danger is present, but I don't want to yeah. get too spoilery. So well, if there have been sort of a, a more of a, a attack, retreat, regroup. Maybe, sort of. yeah. But again, it was that would be more standard. And at least they tried something different. Loved Camille Nanjiani in this. Loved his, I, oh, what God. they did with him. I, I almost was, forgot about him, but yes, he was really good. And I know some people were really take uh, really off put off by that whole idea. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. But I don't know. I mean, we're talking about a universe where they bust ghosts. Uh, you know, it's like eh, I'd buy it. I believe it. Um, yeah. Our young girl and and the ghost friend. I actually really liked uh, all that. I thought that was actually really cool. Now, granted, maybe some eh, not the wisest choices were made by the character. But guess what? She's at that age where yeah. not the most wisest choices are typically made by people. <laughs> so. But that's like also one of the most coherent ghosts that we've ever encountered. In yeah, but again, there's, but again, I like that they're expanding it and showing us all the different types of so, ghosts and spooks and specters or whatever they say in the old commercial. Because I like the idea of them <laughs> finding more ghosts like that and kind of putting them on the payroll. Well, actually, she's not. Well, yeah, because because yeah. as working as liaisons and whatnot. And yeah, scouts. and maybe that's where they'll kind of go in the future. So I'm excited to see what they pull off in the next one. But yeah, we had a really really good time with it. I'm excited to see it again. We don't need to talk forever on these though, because okay. we got a lot of movie reviews in this All one. Right. Anything else? I think I'm good. All right, we're moving on to Godzilla. All right, so then the week after we saw Godzilla Kong: A uh, New Empire. If you are into anime, you know you don't pronounce the X. It's just a weird <laughs> thing that confuses people that don't watch anime. Confused me for a long time, too. Yeah. Um, Let's just be glad it's not Godzilla slash Kong. Yeah. <laughs> That's a whole nother Different movie. kind of fiction. Um, <laughs> listen, I had a great time with it. I loved it. Uh, I do, for me, I like this one more than Godzilla versus Kong. It's still very much a Godzilla. It's a great Godzilla movie um, where, you know, I mean, I'm sorry. It's a great King Kong movie. Where Godzilla is a part of it. You know, he is not the focus. His name is first in the title, and he is not the focus. And you can care, you can give him character, you can do more than what they did. Uh, without telling too much here, he was basically just in power up mode until he was needed. Um, you know, you got some great sequences with him, but it's through and through a Godzilla, a, 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 a King, King Kong, Kong movie. movie. And they've done that twice in a row, and I'm like, okay, but I want a Godzilla movie. I want to see Godzilla go up against Godzilla foes, blah, 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 blah. But I still loved the movie. And again, I counter with Godzilla's in this movie just as much as he's in any other Godzilla movie. But he's always the focus of a Godzilla movie. Even if he's not in it or on the screen, he's the reason everything's happening. He's what they're preparing for. He's what they're fighting against. This wasn't even about Godzilla. The Godz all the Godzilla stuff was absolute B-plot. I guess so. You know? Like, he he's not really the threat or the focus or the whatever. Um, and I'm trying not, I'm trying to dance around. I don't want to spoil things here. That said, Kong is great. Um, I loved the human characters probably more than I have in any yeah. of the American Godzilla films so far. Um, the, the, the Hollow Earth stuff is fantastic. Yes. I was worried. I, I did not want to care about Scar King going into this. I was like, why? He's made up. It's just another giant ape thing. But you know what? Scar King was great. <laughs> yeah. Now, Scar King was the, where we, in the Ghostbuster review, you were talking about how the villain there is a for, force of nature, not a, a, a chatty, scene chewing. Not a person with like a. And, well, the, these guys aren't exactly chatty. Scar King could do some scenery chewing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and he was charming and interesting, and I wouldn't mind if there was more of him one way or another. And he was intimidating. Yeah, he was actually intimidating. It's, no. Well, careful, because some people say this, and I think it's a spoiler, so don't... I'm worried you're going to talk about... Can we talk about above-ground stuff? Yeah, I just don't want to talk any deeper into Scar King. Because, okay, let me just say, some of the characters... Okay, everything's impressive down in, in uh, Middle Earth, or what, what do we call it? Fucking Earth. Hollow Earth. Hollow Earth, thank you. Uh, but when you take things and you know and get them back on outside after you get used to them in, in hollow earth you're just like oh fuck i forgot you guys are this big yeah um yeah because that's true yeah in hollow earth a lot of the movie you really do lose the sense of scale of these giants because everything where they're all like scaled to each other and there's not a lot of scale-based imagery to remind you of their giantism until they're back yeah. on earth you're right that's absolutely fair 
Um, I like the what they did with the Skull Islands and all those people and the mm -hmm. underground, you know. Um, I think yeah. all that stuff, I'm trying to stay very vague, sorry. Um, I think that actually worked really well. That did feel like vintage Showa weird Godzilla-ness. Yeah. Um, our, our, our Kong Whisperer. Yeah. It was a... Uh, yeah. I, she was great again. Yeah, they continued her into her story and made that interesting. The, the Kaiju Vet was pretty cool <laughs> and I really enjoyed him. It was like Peter Quill showing up in the movie, soundtrack yeah. and all. So I appreciate I that. I had somewhat mixed feelings about the, the needle drops. I, At least they were interesting. Oh uh, yeah, I mean I like the song choices and <laughs> everything. Hi, uh, it's just that I feel like you know how it it didn't feel as awkward as it was in Aquaman. Right. Yeah. But absolutely. But I feel like it's the we're doing this because it's the trendy thing to do, like. This, you know, so-and-so did, so we should do it too. I mean, that's fine if that's what you took from it. I didn't take that from it. I just felt like he's kind of his own movie yeah, that keeps think, popping into their movie, and it's kind of, but it kind of worked for I, me, it, so. It, it worked well enough that I'm not, like, totally down on it. I'm, I'm just like, there's just some time I'm like, really? Okay. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, and I will say, I kept joking in all those trailers about being reminded of Transformers. That sequence does not get any less Transformer reminiscent when you're watching the movie. As a matter of fact, with some, without telling you too much, you know, because you see the Robo Arm or whatever, the the Exo Arm on Kong, it's more Transformers than I even thought. So, and then the pyramids again, but still, it's not in it a lot. It's really good. I like how they handle the dichotomy of Kong mm -hmm. and Godzilla and making them enemies, but friends and frenemies and all that. Um, it's got a great pace to it. I have a theory about some of that that I'm going to, I can't talk about here because of spoilers. Yeah. Uh, but I think Kong has got better grasp on things. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, but it's, it's, they, they come from two different worlds, basically. Yeah. They have two different mentalities of things. And Kong is very charming in this. They, they do some real emotion with Kong, which is, is nice. And uh, I think the pacing was good, the action was good, it definitely gets a little sci-fi, it definitely hand waves a lot of stuff, but it's a Godzilla versus Kong movie, you know? Um, and again, we're also a little spoiled because Minus One was so incredible that, I you know, see minus one I know, but I did, so it, does, it doesn't necessarily lessen this one, but it, it does lessen this one a little bit. But um, I, like I said, I had a really good time with it, I'll definitely watch it again and again, I liked it more than Kong uh, versus Godzilla. <laughs> But next time, can we have like actual like a Godzilla movie? Can we? <laughs> can we do um, a hetera maybe or a or a? Ooh, she's sliding. You got a slippery on. Or a, um, a why? Oh, I can't. Gai Gaigen. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we all we all want Gaigen. Let's get really weird. Let's get to space. Let's get this party started. Um, and then there is. A, I'm not going to spoil it. There are other kaiju in this film, and one in particular was very cool, but also felt last minute shoehorned in. It didn't feel natural the way it was, it, this, this character was included, but. Okay, anything else? Cause we made it. I'm, I'm good. Uh, meow, meow. All right, uh, there's plenty more movie reviews for me. I got a bunch of other stuff to talk about. All right, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2. I'm gonna go ahead and knock this one out while I'm waiting. Um, I really enjoyed it. Listen, I really enjoyed the first one. It's a pleasant surprise. I wouldn't say it's a great movie, but I mean, it's enjoyable. I was in a big crowd. Uh, we were all just having a good time, laughing at the silliness, enjoying the kills. Better movie than I expected it to be. I was very happy for part two. Part two came out, it had all this buzz about, you know, 100% tomato score, but it's like six reviews. Listen, I really, really liked part two. It was an improvement in pretty much every way. It was definitely higher budget, better cinematography, better acting, a more interesting story with the lore they're building, better, more kills, better kills. I do think a lot of the kills were a little too hidden in darkness for my liking, but uh, that was my, my only big complaint. I don't think it's like, oh my God, this great hit surprise a lot of people are talking about. I think it's just a good time. And of course, because it was a Fathom event, we got to see the directors, the filmmakers, and they told us a whole bunch about the upcoming Poonaverse. Um, and we got our first look at the Bambi trailer, which is out now. That's why I haven't reacted to it. I saw it in the theater. That looks awesome. I love they're doing a Jaws vibe with that. The things they said about what they're doing with uh, Pinocchio sounds incredible. <laughs> like, it's, you know, the puppets designed by the guy that designed Chucky. Um, what they're doing with Peter Pan sounds amazing and Tink's in it and she thinks heroin is pixie dust. I mean, the whole thing sounds incredible. The movie itself, really good time. I'm all gonna be happy to buy it. I'll be first in line for Blood and Honey 3, and I'm definitely gonna go check out all the Puniverse movies and be very excited for the Puniverse itself. Uh, the end credits, they give you a bunch of concept art during the credits for where this universe is going. 
And honestly, I, again, I had a good time. My only problem with this one is there was hardly anybody else in the theater. I think there was two other dudes and I was the only one really laughing out loud. Like I kind of missed that crowd energy I had in the first one. But other than that, I really liked it. I do think it's even better than the first. So if you like the first at all, you probably really like the second. If you didn't like the first at all, it's 50-50. Some people are like, oh, the second was actually pretty good. Some people are like, no, it's still not good. <laughs> so I don't know. That's my thoughts on Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2. Whew. Okay, I'm almost done filming this vlog. It's like almost 11 now. Jeez, I got so much editing to do tonight. I want to go hang out on the deck. Um, <laughs> let me whine. Why? Uh, so uh, watch Late Night with the Devil. <clears throat> so this was like not really a found footage thing. It's kind of meant to be a lost aired episode thing of like a 70s talk show late night thing with David Dashamalian. Am I saying it near correctly? I love this guy. I should. Um, and things go wrong. And this is like the unedited master tape with some unexplained behind the scenes between segments. But I don't care because this movie was awesome. Absolutely phenomenal. I had very high expectations, very high hopes. I'd heard great things and I loved it. I think it might have been better to actually watch it at home on a TV than in a theater though. But of course I wanted to go support it somehow. And uh, it's great. The pacing's great. The characters are interesting. Where is it gonna go? Where does it go is pretty interesting. There's some awesome twists and turns. It's not super horrific. There's some creepiness and some weirdness and there's a tone going on through most of it. But it really just kind of all goes batshit in the last 15 or whatever when all hell breaks loose. Pun not intended. Uh, <laughs> but I really like it. It feels like it was a real show of the era. Um, even the people that aren't the nicest people are still likable. Like, you know, you can kind of get behind them and be interested in them. Um, the skeptic, there's a skeptic character that's really interesting. And then just a little bit of gross, weird stuff earlier. And as things unfold more and more, like if you know TV production, it's pretty accurate. Uh, <laughs> so I really, really enjoyed it. Um, it's coming to Shudder soon, and I can't recommend it enough. Although it is certainly a movie that if it gets like a 4K release or whatever, some kind of special edition, I'm absolutely buying it without hesitation. That must be in my collection. <clears throat> and it's just a really good time. It's a tight like 89 minutes, and it rolls really nicely. Um, some kind of sort of documentary-esque footage sets it up, and then we just go with kind of a whole episode. And then when they go to commercial break, we get little bits of behind the scenes that fill in some stuff. And uh, I really like where they went with this. So highly recommend Late Night with the Devil. It was probably the best of the three I saw. Though as you're about to find out, all three are pretty spectacular. So let's talk about what I then saw. Because I went and saw that. I see I went. Oh yeah, I'll also tell you this is a fun story. It was a 125 screening at Regal. I left the house about 115. <clears throat> and uh, maybe even later, honestly, maybe like 120. And my ways was telling me I was going to get down there at like 142. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to be, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss something. I'm finally going to be doing a movie. I'm going to miss something. Because I know there's 20 minutes of trailers and commercials on average. But still, I like to go in with five minutes left just to be safe. But I swear, I got there. I hustled in. And you know what? I opened the door to the theater and I heard the shutter logo. And I'm like, ah, perfect, perfect timing. So that was cool. And then we moved on. <sighs> And then after that, I don't remember, it was like a, I had like 20 minutes, 30 minutes in between movies or whatever. And then I went and grabbed some popcorn and the jalapeno cheddar seasoning for it. I hadn't done those little shaker seasonings, but that was a good call. And I went and watched Immaculate. I knew very, very little about this. I knew very, very little about Sydney Sweeney. Other than this was a passion project for her and it's pissed some certain people off, um, which I love. Uh, <laughs> listen, if you're religious and like, that's your, that's cool. I'm not, and you're not a dick about it. That's cool. I am not talking about you, but we all know certain people out there and certain religions can be very over the top with it. So when those people get upset because a movie is so evil, then I get really excited. <laughs> this movie, I can't really tell you what I mostly loved about it because it kind of spoils where the movie goes, but um, it is about a nun or a lady who's going to take her vow and, and going to a monastery. Actually, it's the same monastery from the beginning of Daryl Dixon's season one. I thought that was interesting. And um, <clears throat> it's set in Italy. It feels like it came out of the 70s or 80s in Italy. It's kind of set in a it nondescript time period. They don't really tell you. I mean, you can kind of know where most of the movie's going until it really gets there in the end because it does slightly genre hop a little bit. It's still a horror film. It's still a, a devil possession-y type Thing. I'm not, there's not really possessions per se, but um, in those veins of movies, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the religious horror. But it does a genre hop a little bit at the end, and that's part of what I like about it, is it sort of becomes, I can't, I, I don't know if I can tell you this without it being too spoilery. I mean, it's not, I, I don't know, it might ruin your, your time with it. 
but it becomes a very different uh, type of 70s uh, horror film that you don't see that much anymore. But um, Sydney Sweeney was great in it. All the characters are great. The characters you're supposed to like, you really like. The characters you're supposed to hate, you really hate. You feel the oppression. It's a beautiful location. Pretty messed up ending, uh, which I very much appreciated. And it's certainly kind of a Roger Corman ending of the thing happened, the movie's over. We're good. You don't need anything else. No, no fat on this. Again, a tight 89 minutes. Uh, well done all around. And I thought it was really, really good. It's not, it's probably the weakest of the three I saw that day, but that's like still, I mean, still I had a great time with it and I'm terribly happy I saw it. But then we moved on to the next movie. Okay, so after that, I had like an hour and change. So I actually left and uh, did, I went to McDonald's, did a little shopping and all that. And I went back to 725, the earliest screening I could get into, the first Omen. I've seen the original Omen, never saw any of the sequels. Moments of the original Omen have always stuck with me, but it was never really a movie that did much for me. I wasn't huge into like the religious horror when I was younger. They didn't really scratch that itch. I wasn't a believer, so, you know, it didn't... I found slashers to be more believable because, yeah, somebody could go crazy and put on a mask and kill people. You know what I'm saying? That was more my jam. But um, but I always respected it, and I didn't have a lot of high hopes for this, uh, the first open, Omen, because, again, we've been through some of these, like, legacy sequel, prequel stuff going on, and I'm not a, you know, I became an Exorcist fan recently, and the latest Exorcist movie, I wanted it to be good so bad, but it was just not for me, at least, so... Expectations were pretty low because nobody was really talking about this. Apparently, I found out later there was like an embargo until the day before, which is almost never a good sign. But, and I've seen a few other reviews now, and they say the same thing. Because of all that, I actually loved this. Now, I'm going to hype it up. And if you go in hyped, it probably is not going to be as good to you. I'm hearing that's kind of happening with some people. But I think because I had such low expectations. But I just thought the performances are amazing. The locations are amazing. The vibe of it, like the, 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 just the way it's set up feels so authentic. And you can tell the filmmaker is absolutely a Dario Argento fan as there are things that really reminiscent of Suspiria, the original and the remake, um, and like Inferno and some of those films. But also you get some stuff like out of the movie Possession and, uh, you know, a few other things, but not feeling like it's cribbing those things. It's just, it's obviously inspired by them, but it's absolutely doing its own thing. And some of the imagery, some of the gore, there's a particular uh, <clears throat> birth thing happening in here. Um, Aaron, you can check it out. Just don't knock it over, okay? Um, that is haunting and a visual I would not have expected in a mainstream Hollywood horror film. And that will stick with me forever. And then there's some other fantastic horror and visual and just grossness in this, as well as a phenomenal performance from our lead <clears throat> and just some like wild out there stuff. And um, there is sort of a, not quite a post or mid credit scene, but it feels like it should have been, but it's like right at the end. Probably could have done without that. I thought it was a little overkill. But other than that, I thought this was great. And I hear, again, I don't remember the original Omen. I need to rewatch it. I hear there is a little bit of a continuity breaker here in the end, but I don't know. To me, from memory anyways, it feels like it segues very nicely. Um, and uh, you know, but it could also very much be its own thing. And I was just really enthralled with this and just gripped by it and creeped out. And just, you know, again, some, some of the visuals, I'm like, am I actually, are they going to actually show me their show? Whoa, wait, whoa, that's so much more than what I thought I was about to see. Um, so I do recommend it. I very much recommend it. But again, I say, just try to go in with lower expectations. Maybe I'll have a better time because expectations can kill your fun. But damn, what a hell of a run of three awesome, like, hor religious horror movies for what I called my very a very blasphemous birthday bash in the movie theater. <laughs> I thought that was pretty appropriate. Uh, so there you go. So those are all the movies I watched in the last few weeks. We'll get back on doing kind of more regular reviews. I currently have two scheduled for next Thursday. Might be three. <clears throat> I'm definitely going to Civil... Well, probably, mostly definitely. Going to Civil War and uh, <clears throat> Arcadia, Arcadia, the new Nicolas Cage movie. I might sneak Monkey Man in there too. I, I want to see it. I think Mary wants to see it. And that might be why I'm saying I might. I might have to wait and find a time with her. <laughs> okay. Let's move on to the rest of this vlog. All right. It is time. I have sat on this for a while. I'm excited to open it. It's Christmas. Yup. Because now I have something else to sit on. Do um, you want to grab that real quick and bring it over while I show off the box? So that's why we're finally going to open this up. And give it a roar, 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 give it a whirl. That's the word I'm looking for. 
because now for my birthday, oh my God, look what my wonderful, beautiful wife got me. <laughs> we'll be opening that in the future. Not right now, I'm gonna enjoy the packaging. Although this one doesn't quite have like a push button thing uh, like this. Cause I have been over time doing this. Where is it? I'm at a weird angle. You know, get, uh, yep. getting some of the lines from the amazing ride, which is my favorite ride at Disney World and Disneyland, which is mind blowing as much as I love Star Wars, right? But it is, it's just so freaking charming. Especially if you've had a couple of cocktails and you're in a happy place and you're feeling romantic. I'm just taking it easy because I'm not exactly sure what my best, uh, okay, attack is, but it looks like taking opening from the top. Is that really the only piece of tape? Uh, I think so. Yeah, it's just a bunch of flaps. Or does this flap down? Okay, so this I is... I see it now. Okay. Put that out of my hand so I'm not... Aha! Oh, well, howdy, picnickers! Ha, ha, ha. Ha, 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 ha! All right, oh, happy? oh, look. Oh, I'm very happy. Look, it, it, uh, the whole thing just goes... Dunk. Ta da! You have your setting. Yeah, and there's more to it back here, too, so I'm gonna. gonna... I feel like all the people are in the wall like trophies. <laughs> so that's a little dark. <laughs> Hi, have you met me? Yeah, no, it's adorable. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're, I'm gonna go over. You wanna grab scissors, and I'll go in for some detail here. Doot, doot. Uh, yeah, and I love this iteration of the Mickey Mouse cartoon. And this background, it is very similar to the actual queue you're waiting in. The cars are exactly like that, except usually you get four cars to a train. Yeah. Well, this is gonna be a bit of a mess in terms of uh, little bits of things are gonna go everywhere. Didn't mean to launch that cardboard. Ooh. You can do it. Well, some of the angle too. Oh my goodness. There we go. You don't have much in the way of lever leverage. Let me get these little rubber bands to pop out here. Well, I've also got it in the shade here. And definitely need to make sure the cats don't. That's why I was kind of putting these where we can see these to keep those separate. All right, well, we'll take a closer look at everything once we kind of get it out. I just want to get everything out first. Do, do, do. Let's go on a day. That's not the words. I haven't sung it in a while, man. Let's all go for a ride. No. No, I sang it like just last month. Why am I blank? I'm just too busy today. The words aren't in my brain. Nothing can stop Nothing us can now. Nothing can stop us now. Thank you. It's the name of the freaking song, Eric. You goober. What are we doing in the countryside? Oh boy! What are we doing in the countryside? Oh boy! Oh, I should have done that in that secret video I was filming. <laughs> they might have got a kick out of that. Okay. You're making impersonation. Uh huh. I'm surprised it just didn't come out some point. Naturally. <laughs> Let's get smart. Let's get smart. We're, we're S smart. Sorry, pardon my gas. I'm kidding, the windows are open. The weather's lovely, except now it's humid in here. I can't tell. Well, it's not as bad as it was, but I'm not running around as bad as I was either. Okay, ooh. Hope that's supposed to come out off like that. <clears throat> we'll find out in a minute. Okay, what is that one stuck to? <clears throat> there we go. Okay, yeah, I think that's supposed to come off good. 
That's why it's rubber banded down. <laughs> or plastic down. Yeah, so that's so you can pop Goofy in there, I guess. And we got some tape on the door back here. doing this. Trying to do the goofy electrocution sound, but I failed horribly. <laughs> okay, we are almost unboxed. No, I see how to do it. I see how to do it. Uh-huh. Oh, psh. Some zip tie. <laughs> oh, there's some hiding back here. Oh, I have to... No, I don't. I'm just gonna... I think I can get behind it. I don't want to. Un I don't want to break down this display. Oh shoot! Okay, good. Whew. Oh, zip tie hanging behind the tape. Yeah, I don't know how to. I'll have to trim that one off because I want to keep this display intact. Because I don't want to retape it. Oh, am I gonna have to? Because this is stuck in there. Well, let me get my real narrow. Oh my god! Why would they package it like this? Okay, I can do this. All these little. Hold on, here, take this one. All right, all right. All right, let me show off little things here while we're... Door opens. That roof comes off. This is really cute. Interesting. Let's see. Magnetic balls, wheels. Oh, okay, no, this is not near as bad as you think. These... Actually, that's cool. And they all have little on off switches, as does the remote. Oh, these three bottom things do, oh, they are actual buttons. That's fun. What? Did you catch that mouse all by yourself, beautiful? Yes, she did. She's coming from my phone. Good job. You're a mighty huntress, itty bit. Good job, baby girl. Okay. And then uh, in here, we get some cutouts and stuff. Can you open this easy? Sorry, guys. Penny dolls. There we go. dump this out so we can see what all we got in here. So we get all these cardboard cutouts so you can kind of make a land for it to drive through. I'm not really gonna deal with those, I'll lose those. So I'm gonna put all that back in the bag. I just wanna show you. We get like oh, the okay. tornado and some bushes and the sun. I need a question, I need you to. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is part of the plastic that's uh -huh. holding everything else in here. Right. Do you, we want to? We can take that off. Okay. And then we have some instructions. I don't know, do you need to... Since I got a minute, I'll do this so in case you've lost yours, you can maybe pause and figure this out. So we got a independent mode, a follow me mode, an Edna mode, a try me mode, AKA the F around and find out mode. Uh, okay, so it looks like they all have little different switches to set what mode you're doing. Get all that. We got some apple pie a la mode. <laughs> and this just looks like the stuff nobody actually cares about. Or maybe, maybe not. Hmm. You know, it's just a simplified version of the instructions, I believe. Okay. Okay, we've almost got this. We've uh, almost okay. got this. Okay, so that's that. You want me to actually take them out? Yeah. Okay. I feel like you're going to be dropping all kinds of little bits. Well, that's back here why for I was cats. starting to. Okay, I got. And you I'll seem work to back be here. Impatient, so. I am impatient. I'm running out of things to do. <laughs> Have you met me? <laughs> Oops. 
tiny bit. Hi, beautiful girl. And your mommy lovin's. Oh, look at the little birdie. Chirpity chirp. That's all I'm I still get it wrong. You think I would know it too. These do have some articulation, but it's mostly just to swing their legs up to put them in the cars. Oh yeah. So we'll do that. Daisy, she gonna teach me to Roomba. Watch out for Eric's sore butt. Me Roomba? That too. Roomba is a little different. Yeah, I know. And I thought, did you not set another one down just now? Am I crazy? Uh, so far, I've put down the bird. Oh, you must have, oh, you put down one of these little things. Okay. And that's what it was. I was. I, thought, I saw you reach over here. I was like, did she not put something down? Yep. Hello, Minnie. Oh, hello. Just trying to make sure I put. Why is she always Marilyn Monroeing though? Her skirt's always being blown up. Uh, because animators are perched. <laughs> <laughs> They're not the only ones that are pervs. Mickey is a particularly challenging one. As it should be. That's what Minnie tells me all the time. Oh, you're welcome aboard. Oh, we're ready for a relaxing ride around the port. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'll go get that in a second or she will. Here's our Mickey. We just need our conductor. And yes, he is. Feetsy's been so he can sit. We will put this all together. We will try the modes. Let me, uh, let me, let me, let me get Mary's phone alarm so it doesn't drive us crazy. Oh, gee, I wonder what all that's about. Don't, don't judge me. Don't, don't judge me. <laughs> Hi, yeah. <laughs> I was showing the stacks of Lorcana and everything. You don't even want to know. That's just from birthday hall of uh, Inklands. Uh, there's there's a lot going on. <laughs> Whoop! Hi, Eddie Ben. I promise we'll be soon. We'll be done soon. Maybe we can sit down for a bit. I really hope. Oh, we have a conductor. You have a conductor. Whoops. He's so tall and lanky. Okay. Now we get to put this together. Oh, I like that he's like because he's hanging out the window. Yeah, we'll make that happen. I don't even know if I was showing you all just now. I was looking at him. And I was kind of roughly pointing the camera that way. <clears throat> oh, look at the foot coming out. That's cute. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think we're about ready to get this party started. I tell you what. No, we'll, we'll keep rolling. We'll keep rolling. Are we... I know you're doing cleanup work, but yeah, I'm, do you want I, I would like to move. Yeah, I want it, but I would like to move. This can be done later. Okay. I want to, I want to get the video part done. I'm handing off to you. Okay. And uh, do we need to move the trash out of the way. All right, move the trash out of the way. <laughs> I'm, I'm like a kid on Christmas. I mean, I basically am a kid on Christmas, except now Christmas has moved on. But this was a Christmas gift. As a matter of fact, you know what? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to cut here because maybe uh, Mary's mom filmed me opening this, so she sent it to me. Maybe I'll include that. There was remote, like, uh, uh, like magnetic or something. Like, the cars are actually separate, but they'll do things. This is so cool. This is one of those things I want to open right now. Oh, we have plenty of cardboard today. Well, no, but I, also, but I also want to enjoy it in the box for a little while and then open it. Like, save it as like, I can't wait to open that, but I'm just going to enjoy its beauty. Uh, they, she told me about this. Hopefully they restock that. Or I have to go back to the park specifically to get it. But this is cool. Mary, it comes with a paper cutout accessories that has the tornado and the sun and some bushes and trees. I love the tornado, especially in Florida. After a hot walk around the park and you get in that room where the tornado's going on, you're like, ah. <laughs> but yeah, the railway cars magically follow the locomotive. They are not connected. That's wild. I didn't know that. Individual cars spin and shake when separated from locomotive. Oh, that's so cool. So, yeah, so they separate off the locomotive and do their own thing just like the ride would. That's awesome. 
<laughs> okay, I thought this was pretty cool, but now that I'm really looking at it, it's way cooler than I thought. Plus, you get the Mickey, you get the ride versions of the figures, and I think they can't play with it until next year. <laughs> That's, That's what Josh says. He didn't qualify. <laughs> Make sure I do that on camera side. I also bought an action figure set, and Mary, I think the action figures are posed differently. That would be so cool. I also didn't know the figures have, oh yeah, of course their legs have to move so they can sit in the train cars. Except Goofy. Goofy's like, ah! Okay, this is fantastic. Okay, I'm going to turn that off because we are running around. It. Wasn't that fun if I actually cut it in? It's going to be late night editing, so who knows. Here's Mary with the camera and the good hair. I guess this is why you can take this off, because it's going to make it a little easier. Now, there's no, like, feet pegs or anything like you get on certain things. Just got to get that arm out the window. I don't know if that's going to... Maybe he's supposed to be out the back. No, he should be out the side. Well, I'm saying, I know in, from the ride in the show, but the toy may not be designed to do any of that. Because his arms are not very... I feel like if you tilted him... Yeah, there's no articulation in his head or anything. Problem is I keep getting other parts of him stuck. I'm trying to like, I guess he is a little bit rubbery, so maybe I can. I don't like that. That does not feel right. Snip. Yeah, exactly. That doesn't seem right either. This. I, actually, that might kind of sort of work. Yeah, that kind of works. He waves at you at the end, right? Yeah. Like I kind of want to see if I can his whole body out a little bit. Oh, hold on. Mm hmm I mean, maybe his legs did bend. So let's see if I can bend his legs forward some. What you think, Napoleon? Why are you doing this not food related? Where's my legs? Yeah, that's just not gonna do legs it. Legs will happen eventually, Napoleon. He will not, he's not, that's not going to work. I would offer to try, but you won't let me. Well, is there anything in the... No, there's nothing about the characters. Uh, kind of want to look at the back of the box. Because it has like the whole thing. Uh, not have him inside the train. Oh yeah, so there's no image of that. Okay. Well, I can look online. And then I guess maybe he's just going to look out the front of the train. I don't know. <laughs> Goofy's going to be a problem. When is he not? Yeah, right? And let's see. Car number one. Gotta give it to you know who's. Yeah, these are going a lot easier than Goofy. <laughs> Did they get the, the car out to them shows? Or? Yeah, well, they get a little backseat passenger. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. This whole thing is freaking cute, man. Oh, he's a little bit because of the tails. Again, with this Donald, my problem. Yeah. Oh, I guess you turn him to the side a little bit because he looks a little smitten that way. <laughs> Gotta give the love birds there. The love seats. Like that kind of works. Uh. <laughs> okay. Next up, now let's actually do this. We have four modes. Independent, follow me. Let's start with follow me. So let's put everything in mode two. Is this a mode thing on here? No, that's just on and off. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, we'll be here just going upside down so I can find some light. Oh my goodness, why is there no light? Here we go, there we go. So we're in mode two. It's okay, it's okay. Everything is fine, nothing broke broke. As far as I know, this was meant to break and he just fell out. We're okay. I just, yeah. This band, I'm having trouble with this thing slipping out of my hand today with this bandage. Well, so you can't really hold it by the roof. Well, I thought I reached under, but I didn't. My, that's where my thumb slipped. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, shoot, I should have done this before I got these cars all perfect. All right, well, you know what? All the way back and then forward. That should be mode two, theoretically. Beep. Why is, Donald, why are you so Crawl guy. Okay. Right. Remote is on. I see it looks like you have three buttons in the front. I don't know if that does anything or not. Are those buttons? Well, I, I'm trying to read the directions, dude. I'm supposed to pair of these. Oh. There we go. I think that was the beeping we heard. Yeah, but the remote wasn't on yet. He is getting way away from them. Oh yeah, there's only forward, back, and uh, side to side on here. <laughs> Let's try resetting it. Like, you know, I should reset in that position. Oh, crap, this one. <laughs> the, the three buttons seem to just be random. Like I'm pushing different buttons okay. and getting different effects every time. Okay. Like that's just one button. That's the same button. <laughs> That's the same button. Now we move to the middle button. It is weird that I could pull back on the thing, but it doesn't do anything. So it doesn't do the rush. It, it might have something to do with being in the independent mode. Uh, but it is interesting to have the three different buttons, but they're not like dedicated to something specific. They all just yeah. cycle through randomly. Huh. <clears throat> so now let's uh, try pairing to uh, independent mode, see what that's about. Okay, but I already love this. You probably, you probably should have got my face for some of that. Because <laughs> I am, I am, I'm a gleeful, joyful boy. Sorry, I was distracted by how the cats were reacting I know, to they're it. cute too, but daddy's being pretty cute right now. I'm a cat daddy, not mommy's daddy, not Mary's daddy. You're not my daddy. Oh. Yeah, I figured that's what independent mode might be. Let me switch on this. <laughs> if this cart's a rockin', don't come a knockin'. Oh. <laughs> what do I do with the remote? There it is. Oh, now he backs up. No. Oh, gosh! Oh, no! Ah. <laughs> oh, now here's a question. Can they be in separate modes? I'm gonna put the, tr I'm gonna put the carts back in follow with him in independent and see what happens. Wait, what? They have, they have other dialogue? There's a dialogue button up here. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's so cool. Wait a minute, what does this one do then? 
probably the same. Come on in. Don't be shy. Maybe, yeah. Hello there. Oh. It's a stampede. They're running quiet. Oh, no. Oh, that's that's awesome. Does he have everybody? I think he just has the remote. Oh, Daisy has us dancing. <laughs> Alright, let's see. No, they won't follow in independent mode. If the, if the engine's in independent mode. Yeah. I just like that in independent mode, I could move him backwards as well as forwards. Them all back and follow. Now they're paired. <clears throat> that is weird though, you can't go backwards. What's the new check? Oh no, it's Kitty Zilla! Everybody <laughs> run! Uh oh. <laughs> I misjudged your shoe. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm, I'm a very happy camper. <laughs> now, we never got those Mario Kart thingies out, did we? Uh, the Mario AR, Mario Kart AR stuff. Yeah, yeah, Mario Circuit or whatever. We have Mario and Luigi. One of these, I was ashamed they didn't do more. I wanted more cars. We're gonna have to play with that someday. Cha cha. Yeah, he's trying to turn. I can't back up, buddy. Oh, wait, we're stuck now. Okay, this is great. Carpet the natural enemy of the train. Well, thank you. And thank your mom, because this is awesome. And I'm a happy boy. And this is going to look so cool, like on my shelf and occasionally getting played with, because I'm a big kid now. <laughs> I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. <laughs> All right, uh, so that's that. I think I think we showed off enough. Actually, you know what? No, here. Oh, you hold on to this a second. I'm gonna set up for something. I'm gonna let you drive it at me. We got we got to create a little Spielberg magic. Hang on, buddy. There's the... I'm gonna swap with you. I'm gonna take the camera. You can just stand to the side here. Yeah, let me let me get positioned. Ugh. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, sorry. Are you ready? You want Andy? You want sound effects? Mm, no, nah, you just bring them to me. All right. And then go uh, this way once you. <laughs> get him, Jack. Bah. Sorry, I accidentally cut in the best part. It's getting on. Oh, now I'm way too close. No, this is not gonna work. <laughs> I had a really great shot of Jack attacking and, uh oh, caught on the carpet. Oh well, I think y'all get the idea. Super wide, super tight. <sighs> no, it's a giant kitty. It's not as good as it was. I don't have the angle. Yeah, sorry about that. That's okay. That was my bad. I accidentally did it. All right, that's that. We're going to move on to something else. Okay, I got a vinyl because I keep meaning to uh, cancel, but they're one of those asshole companies that you have to call. And it's only like nine hours or nine to five, Monday through Friday. And I always think about it on a Saturday or a Sunday. But we'll try because I'd like to get the money back. Not to get the money back per se, but I would like to not be spending the money on this because it's probably still great. But I have not listened to like anything in here in a long time. Um, so I could really put that money elsewhere, is all I'm saying. Because <laughs> I think Misty it's something. Mountain gaming. I'm looking at you. Say what? Misty Mountain Gaming. Well, we were thinking about maybe Misty, because somebody told us. I'm sorry, I'm forgetting who. But then also, just, you know, I'm into all the trading card games. There's so many other places I'm spending money right now. I don't necessarily need to be spending it here. However, I am getting back into music creation mode. So maybe this will come in handy. Maybe I'll go listen to some stuff today. You know, I don't know. So, here's this. 
here's this. If you want to pause and read ahead, or you can come back. I'll read it at the end. All right, we got the Sloan Brothers system update. Updating system for better cover art. <laughs> More state photographer. I mean, I kind of like that photo, though. Double exposure. And we got, I like this art. The Bops Sound Sounds of Parade. Or Sounds of Parade, yeah. I got a feel, good feeling about that. That might be some nice pop punkity. It's got a pop punk vibe. And then we have Vista Kicks and Audra May Chateau May May. I don't know, what do you think? Falk, maybe? Mm -hmm. I think it's a frying, peg, frying pan with an egg on the front. Mm. Yep, I've not heard of any of these. I don't know anything about it, any of them. So let's see what Rochelle has to say. Hey, Eric, this month I'm sending you the psychedelic sepia-toned indie rock teaming of Audra May and Vista Kicks. I don't, I don't love psychedelic, why? Making Southern, uh, Southern something West Coast vibes. Oh, Southern and West Coast vibes collide. Next, the unique and creative sounds of Sloan Simpson, making music with friends under the name Sloan Brothers. Tells me nothing about it. Finally, the electric and energetic 2022 record Sounds of Parade from French bass group Bops. Thanks for telling me genres. No idea about any of this. I really gotta make that call. I gotta remember to make that call and be like, stop. And if they don't, I'll put a hold of my credit card because it's like 40, 46 bucks a month. I don't need to be spending. I could spend on better things. <laughs> That's vinyl. All right, we're gonna do a couple of quickie unboxings. Uh, let's do the pins. Okay. I, I wanna do these because these are the ones I'm excited about. Okay. I did find some more play in the park. So we'll each open up a box, blah, 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 open up a box of these. Did you find those at Disney? Yes, they have tons of them at Disney. They don't sell them online anymore. Hopefully they'll have some more in May because I would like a complete set of this. I don't remember exactly what we do have though. Uh, where are you? Where, where did you dump all your pins? I think they're upstairs, these. Um, but I know there are some cool ones in here. I really like uh, Minnie with the bubble wand. I think we got. Chip and Dale, I don't think we got. Donald with the snacks, I don't think we got. Did we get the, the house one? I feel like we did because I really wanted that. We either got that or pirates. Because <laughs> I think both of those are very cool. Science. Um, and I want. I wouldn't mind, uh, isn't there Mickey with a Dole Whip? Am I missing that on here? Uh, it's Donald with a Dole Whip. Oh yeah, Donald's at the Dole Whip stand, yeah. Okay, well, let's just pop into these bad boys. We'll each open All right, a bag of first, two pins. How's this work? I've already got mine open. Let me well, go. Yeah, go right ahead. Okay, since there's no easy tear spot on these. Wait, oh, I thought there was only, huh, that only had one in there for a minute. I didn't realize I was so off camera either. <laughs> He's right. crowding me, Anyway, No pause, baby. Okay, so. Okay, got... bubble on, babes. The bubble babes. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, not bad. Aaron. Aaron. Aaron, buddy. Aaron. He's not used to being up on the chair. I know. And you have to stay pause on the chair. Yeah, you can be in the chair, but you don't get to come on the counter. Okay, and I am pulling. Hey! I got good old Donald with the Dole Whip. I, actually, you were fine. I had it in front of your face. Oh. <laughs> That's really nice. Okay, I was really looking for that one. I can't believe I only actually end up having one Dole Whip, but it was such a short trip. So in May, I'm going to have a lot more Dole Whip. That's mine. Get off of mine. <laughs> cool. I don't know if we had many in the bubbles, though. Not sure. All right, and we've got, hey, the mm. Haunted Mansion people. So if we in fact did not get that, I definitely have it. If I do have it, now I got one for trade if Mary doesn't want it. <laughs> eh, maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure. Well, All who right. else do I really, really want then? Pirates if we don't have it. Chippendale? I don't know, I kind of want Mickey and Minnie in the teacup. Or actually just Mickey and Minnie holding hands because, you know, it's sweet and it makes me think of me and you. <laughs> hi, Jack. Hi, oh, Jack. we got putties in each chair now. <laughs> oh, hi, Jiggy Jiggy. We have threats from all sides. <laughs> Did I not? Oh, there it is, okay. And hey, nope. Oh, duplicate. Uh, That's okay. It's good for trading. Oh, and they just started, I think at Disney World, maybe it was land, but they just started letting cast members do lanyards and stuff again with mm -hmm. their pins, so... Should be a lot more cool pin trading moving forward. I mean, there was plenty to get into. 
I just didn't have enough time to really get that focused on it. But cool, we got the Haunted Mansion, we got the Dole Whip, and we got the Bubble Babes. I do feel like we already had the Bubble Babes. But um, yeah, I'll go back and get some more because mm -hmm. apparently I'll be there in May and it's it's annual pass holder days. It's pass holder days and the discount gets even nicer on my May trip. Yay. <laughs> money, money, money. All right, we got something else cool. What is this? You don't want to buy death sticks. You want to buy red kyber crystals and see if you get lucky for a black one. These things are way more expensive than you think they are, by the way. Did I put my knife away like an idiot? Yes, you did. So I tell myself I'm going to let myself buy one of these, one, every time I go, until I either run out of patience or we actually get a black kyber crystal. I don't know, because I think these are like $25 or $30. Are you fucking kidding me? They are expensive. I, I could look into my receipts uh, that I'd have to go digging, but they're, they're way more than you think they are. Um, I mean, they're really nice if you, you, know, you have a bunch of lightsabers and you want to change a bunch of them to the same color. But ultimately, at the at, I really price point. Jesus. Well, also I got to say, there's really no reason for me to personally uh, have for my own collection more than four of any color, because that's the most I'd be able to handle at any given time. Because mm. I could make two doubles oh, yeah. and actually have four going. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. Mary needs some red kyber too. I'm excited to build. I haven't done a build another. with the red. Me either. I was gonna on my last build. And I, I was like, I don't want it yet. So I switched it out for a white crystal. And then it was funny mm -hmm. because I was playing a bit and playing into it. And the guy helping me build it, he was confused and thought I had a broken saber. <laughs> and I had to like break character be like, no, 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 I'm just doing a bit. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Moment of truth. Will I be able to rule Mandalore? Not that the Christ of Crystal is how you do it, but I forget how you open it. They screw? Oh, there we go, okay. black but it's just it's just hiding the stuff i don't even know what the odds are and it's red i see the oh it's burning it's burning my hands <laughs> so i don't have my phone on me i was gonna try my flashlight see if you actually can uh don't take mine yet i'm doing something then you can use mine Yes. Yeah, it doesn't quite do it, does it? Uh, I mean, it does it in, in real life, it just doesn't... It doesn't translate well on video. Yeah, right, here's that. So, early on, people could take a, like, their cell phone oh, lights yeah. and kind of see whether or not it was going to be black or not, but they've uh, changed the coating to be completely black on the inside, so... Yeah, so you can't cheat it, which is nice, because, I mean, the whole point is it's supposed to be a blind... Thingy. Take two. Thank you. Um, so, you know, that's fine. I mean, I still need some more. I, I don't have that many red kyber crystals, so I'm okay with still having some, but... One of these days I will ignite... Oh, I have ignited a red saber, just not a red build a saber Because I did yeah. buy the Kylo saber, and I played with that a little bit in Doc Ondar's. Okay. I don't think I've seen it since you brought it home. I, we haven't opened it yet, so I'm saving it for a future video. You've got a couple other sabers that... We also got that Asajj Ventress uh, micro series, Clone Wars series, the Gindy Tartakovsky ones. Damn. So many sabers, so little time. Uh, there's more vlog. I, I think uh, I think after this we usually move to the cocktail. I don't know, but we got other things to film, so we're gonna do that. I am actually a little, a little. We saw Ghostbusters. It was awesome. We're, we've reviewed it already in this vlog, I imagine. So all the way home, I decided I kind of want an Ecto Cooler like cocktail. And uh, I looked into how you make some of those. I don't have any of that stuff. It's not, so I was like, I'm just gonna go with what I thought. Before I looked into it, I had this idea to do Midori, Cointreau, lemon juice, and vodka. And then I looked up cocktails with Midori, Cointreau, and lemon juice. And uh, I found the, the Japanese, the Japanese cocktail slipper. slipper. The Japanese slipper, thank you. Um, I did save it though, let me go into my. I was looking up something By else way, for later. Did you, did you set up the Ghostbusters bucket to be like perfectly in shot? No, but that is beautiful. I mean, yes, yes, <laughs> I absolutely did. I'm a, I'm a good YouTuber like that. Uh, I am filming this uh, weeks before it comes out though because the Disney vlogs. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so I found one, like she said, is the Japanese slipper, I guess. Where's my thing that lets me click and say, go to the website. Why is that only sometimes there and not always there? 
I don't know, man. Anyways, I can't find the title. We're just going to assume she's right. It's one and a half ounces of Midori, one and a half ounces of Cointreau, and one and a half ounces of lemon juice garnished with a cocktail cherry. I'm going to make a double because I'm partying hard today. We're getting cocktail. Are you going to show what we're doing? Got the Cointreau. We're going to, is this, oh, this is a fresh bottle. I haven't opened this yet. And my hands are slippery right now. <laughs> Bloop. Thank you, Mary, for introducing me to those things. <laughs> I know you wanted me to thank you. All right, so we're gonna do, we'll start with, well, guys, we'll just do shots. So we got our ounce and a half, our first ounce and a half. That was just a tiny touch over. We'll try to keep the next one a tiny touch under. That seems to balance out about right. Is it just me, or did they go to like an old school label on the control? They've totally changed the label, yeah. It confused me the first day too, because it's like what? It just, where it has like Le Unique or whatever. I was like, wait, is this a different thing? But uh, it it's It looks not. like they're just doing a retro label. Yeah. And I got a smaller bottle because it was way cheaper than the bigger bottle. And I don't mean that like obviously a bigger one's gonna cost more, but I mean like per cost ounce. per ounce was yeah. weirdly way. Was it on sale? No. It was just weird, and I, I thought it was like Total Wine had it labeled wrong, but I saw the same thing at uh, Liquor Bar, and I was like, what? I was like, I'll just buy a smaller one, that's fine. <laughs> My Midori's getting a little sticky. So, uh, an ounce and a half of Midori, and since I'm making a double, we're gonna double that up. Oh, okay. Whew. Yeah, that's, that is Slammer Green. Well, that's why I was thinking about it, plus I love the smell on the core. And I thought, you know, we get a little melon, we get a little orange, we get a little lemon. It'd be really tasty. So I was kind of excited. I'm getting better at this cocktail thing uh, where like I have ideas and it turns out I'm kind of right in my ideas. I'm not perfectly there yet. And honestly too, I have some of those Epcot cocktails I want to play with and do my own versions, but this just sounded good tonight. So I'm filming this and it seems like it might go in the Ghostbusters vlog. If it's not in the Ghostbusters vlog, then whatever. So I juice two giant lemons. Also because I'm going to need not only three ounces of this, but not on camera, I might, I might make an LIT later. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm having a really good day. All right, let's, uh, that first ounce and a half in there. And again, this might be my, this might only be about three ounces. I might have to juice my last lemon, which is fine, because I won't make cocktails tomorrow, and Saturday I'm going to the grocery. I might go to the grocery tomorrow. But it is uh, NCAA tournament time. It looks like there's well, maybe an ounce so left. So if UK maybe an ounce wins and a half. today, they'll be playing Saturday, won't they? Correct. I don't know what time yet. I, Dad's supposed to tell me, and I told him to make sure whether we win or lose, you need to tell me that time so I don't detective and find out that we lost. We had a, well, we don't, we don't talk sports here. Okay, so that is basically <laughs> the cocktail. We're going to put some ice in this, shake it up, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in a chill martini glass, I think. Bye, Kitty. Apparently, I do not. I can probably, I'll fit. Yeah, we'll fit nine ounces in that. That'll be fine. Okay. It'll be tight, but it'll be fine. Do I have any pretties? <gasps> There's an AB. AB. One, two, three, four, five, seven pieces of ice going in my shaker. I can get her to run up the stairs. Ah. And make sure it's nice and sealed. 15 seconds. Hey, how you doing? I'm Tom Cruise. Ooh, it's getting cold already. Welcome to Disney. What kind of cocktail would you like? Are you in the Magic Kingdom? You better be eating dinner. Anywhere else, do whatever you want. Oh, I think I got about three more seconds in me. Oh, oh. That went really dirty really fast. <sighs> hey, Mary, let me. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Okay. It is already, your frost glass is already defrosting. Well, yeah. All right, let's see what we get here. I gotta get my cherries out too. I don't know if I can fit this whole thing in here. Maybe, it's gonna be close. Uh, yeah, actually. Uh, I ain't gonna be able to hand it to you if you wanna try it, but. <laughs> Can't get your cocktail straws. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I can sip on that, but. That's uh, true. All right, I think I have room for, I was gonna put two cherries. Let's figure out where my cherries went. Uh, oh, they're over here. Aha! I'll just see if I can get her to... I understand. That's why I'm not like... They've seen our fridge. And if you haven't and you want to, watch pretty much any vlog. You're likely to see it at some point. I should put two cherries in here. But I'm not entirely sure. I can fit two uh, maraschino cherries in here. I was introduced to the 
Okay. Phenomena of restocking videos on TikTok. Like, they, there's apparently a, a woman in Lexington that does these things and she wants a ton of money and it's just her restocking her fridge. And I'm like, Thank uh. Because I was like, what the fuck are restocking videos? Yeah, that, that was my well, initial reaction when I was talking to my coworkers. Well, also, remember, I come from a, many of my jobs were in video stores. Yeah, yeah. So when you say restocking talking, videos, yeah. I'm like, putting the tapes back on the shelf? Why are you watching videos about that? I was thinking groceries, uh, or, you know, grocery stores, not your fridge. Yeah. It's very much an OCD AMSR thing. OCD ASMR, that's... A lot of letters. I'm gonna take a pretty, cause this looks like kind of a pretty picture. A little red touch in the bottom. Yeah. I got a good feeling about this. This does remind me of Slimer. This does remind me of an Echo Cooler. But I think it's gonna taste even better. Let's find out. I'm not sure I ever had an Echo Cooler, so. Well, you know what? I may be misremembering what Ecto Cooler tastes like, but that's what I was hoping it tastes like. That's really good. Oh, that's really good. Mmm. That is a damn keeper. My dear, if you'd like to try that, I can take the camera, but you probably, I ain't gonna pick that up just yet. I, I understand. Now, it's a little tart. It's not overly orange, it's not overly lemon, it's not overly Midori, but it's very citrusy and mmm. Smells okay. Mm, I love that, which makes me think Mary to think it's just okay. <laughs> just because our palates are different. Mm. I'd be a little sweeter than I like, but I'd drink it. Right? That's pretty damn good, man. Yeah, Japanese slipper, baby. I'll slip I Mary something yeah. Japanese. I think that uh, lemon juice does a lot, the acidity does a lot to cut some of the sweetness, otherwise it'd be way too sweet. Yeah, but that's, mm, I really like that balance of sweet and tart and fruity. And like I said, you could hand me that and I'd have a hard time telling you what's in there. I could probably get the lemon juice and, the and I'd end, guess Midori on the color. On the back end, I'm kind of that sweet tart vibe. <laughs> it does have a little bit of a sweet tart vibe, especially like after you've eaten a sweet tart. Yeah. And I love sweet tarts. So probably not your jam as a candy, I'm guessing. I'm sure sweet tarts is good. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Do you know why? Why? Because you're a sweetheart. You're a sweet heart. <laughs> okay. Um, well, you know what? We're going to jump into Mary's boobs because Boston makes me feel good. And there you have it. Uh, a little after, what? A little after 11. You can almost see a clock. Um, sorry for the fan. I'm... I'm running so hot, I'm stressing from doing so much. Um, 11.05, <clears throat> and that wraps up the vlog. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully it's not too scattershot. I am gonna have to edit in a hurry tonight. Uh, <clears throat> but hopefully you enjoyed all this, and of course we'll try to cook something next week. More cocktails, more unboxings, more pins, uh, more movie reviews, <clears throat> and more taste tests, because we got some other, we still got a lot more goodies to get through. And uh, we'll start maybe talking about the plans for the upcoming May Disney trip. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Catch my breath. This is like the last thing I have to film tonight before I get into massive editing. All right. Well, thank you for joining me. Hopefully you had a good time. I know I did. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. If you want to comment below with any thoughts, ideas, suggestions, requests, whatever. I do read everything. I don't, I mean, sometimes I'll get in a responding spree, but I don't often respond. I apologize, but I do read it all. I like to hear what you have to say. So go ahead and comment below. Let me know. Other than that, click the thumbs up button. Give me the good old thumb of encouragement as I do love to be encouraged. And remember that we will get through this. We will get through this together. Okay, you can check out my music anywhere you listen to music. Look up Eric Butts. I'm starting to get excited about working on some new stuff. I've got ideas. I'm going to start writing soon and demoing sooner after that. And, um, you know, just check out a song or two, see what you think. Really appreciate it. Get excited for the Mirror EP Part 2. And, of course, uh... Go to ericbutts.com for all that funky butts fun you're looking for. And then there's, what do I say? There's more uh, fun to be had with the links in the description below. So click that see more button to see more butts. And on that note, I got to get out of here so I can process this footage, get editing, 
<sighs> try to relax. I got to go to a play tomorrow, so I don't have a lot of time on Tuesday. There's so This is a, such a busy week for me. This is a month. April, October and April tend to be the by far busiest months in our lives. Uh, so many birthdays in April cause so many fun things to do. Oh, poor us. We get to do all the things we like. Oh, we're so poor. Oh, woe is me. Sorry. <laughs> all right, that's it. I'm going to get out of here. I'll see y'all later. I love you, and I know you love butts too. Bye.